by the Etebuini municipality, about 150 bags of rice have been uh, dispatched by the Etebuini municipality to be, you know, ferrying the uh, people who are going to be attending this very historic event. And uh, when we speak to many of those uh, who are going to be in attendance here today, they said uh, uh, they are not going to miss this uh, event uh, for anything in the world uh, because uh, to them it is history uh, in the making. And uh, if you recall uh, that uh, King, uh, the late king of Amazulu Nation, that King Goodwill, who basically was the longest serving king of the Amazulu Nation, was at the throne for about uh, 50 or so years, you know, so King Mr. Zulu coming into this uh, very crucial and important role, not only for the Amazulu nation, but just for the country as a whole, you know, we have been hearing comments uh, from various uh, sections of society, some of the people that we have been engaging, some of them cultural experts, as well as the Amazulu traditional prime minister, that uh, Prince Mangosu Tugutelezi, who was saying that uh, it will be now on King Mesu Zulu's uh, 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 view in terms of uh, what he does for the nation so that uh, he creates his own legacy because we do of course know uh, that a lot of good uh, things have been said about uh, the legacy of uh, the late king uh, that uh, goodwill Zulitini but of course uh, King Mesu Zulu uh, coming into this role uh, you know, uh, amid uh, a lot of controversy, of course, with uh, many people, of course, especially from the uh, royal family, you know, having uh, issues with regards to the process that has uh, led to him, you know, ascending to the throne. Uh, but of course, we continue to keep track of uh, the convoy that is making its way to the uh, Moses Mabidia Stadium. And I'm sure our viewers can see uh, quite uh, a lot of excitement uh, from the you know people onlookers who are standing beside uh, the road here uh, witnessing the king as he's making his way to the stadium where about 48,000 people are expected to take part you know in this uh, historic event uh, indeed and uh, uh, we are not very far now from the stadium I believe that we are about a kilometer or so away as we slowly make our way uh, with uh, the convoy that is uh, ferrying King Misu Zulu, uh, who is going to be the ninth Ama Zulu nation. You know, a lot has, has been said also about uh, the expectations uh, that uh, people, ordinary people, have uh, after you know he has been you know officially handed over his certificates. And of course, uh, you know, many of them are saying that they expect the king to you know unify the the nation and they expect the king to spearhead issues of uh, uh, rural development, issues of uh, youth unemployment. Uh, those who, who have been speaking to us in the build-up uh, to today's event have been saying that uh, they see the king's role as very important in terms of, you know, uplifting, you know, the communities of uh, this particular province where we are in KwaZulu Natal. And also just basically, you know, uh, bringing about social cohesion amongst the uh, different races, but, uh, and of course, uh, the king himself has been saying that uh, he will require more prayers from his subjects as he knows that uh, this role uh, that he is, uh, is uh, assuming basically, you know, requires, you know, a lot of work, a lot of uh, bravery, if one may say, and a lot of dedication. Because, uh, you know, king, the late king of uh, Amazulu Nation, King uh, Goodwill Zolitini, was a very respected figure, not only in society, but uh, also amongst different political parties for, for basically, uh, you know, standing up, or, you know, for, you know, his beliefs. And, and sometimes he was, you know, able to, to voice out his concerns when government was not uh, uh, doing certain things right. And he was not afraid, basically, to uh, air his uh, grievances where he, he felt that, he, you know, uh, his voice was needed uh, in terms of addressing the issues of, uh, you know, social ills that are currently you know, facing the country. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, King Mr. Zulu Gazulitini uh, is not young in terms of his age when you compare him with his father, the late King Goodwill Gazulitini, when he ascended to the throne. Uh, uh, so th there is a lot of expectation in terms of what is it that he's going to do? What is going to be his approach uh, when it comes to dealing with issues uh, uh, 
uh, that affect uh, uh, ordinary people and the society at large. And uh, I'm sure our viewers can see now from where we are uh, that we are just a few uh, meters away from the Moses Mabida Stadium where the king is now about to enter the stadium uh, with uh, this uh, convoy. A lot of dignitaries have already arrived at the stadium, I must say. Uh, we saw earlier on the arrival of uh, former president uh, Jacob Zuma, uh, who is also, you know, gracing uh, this event. Of course, we know uh, that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa is going to be, you know, officially handing over that uh, certificate uh, to King Misuzulu Sinmobile Kazuelitini. You know, I uh, think a day or two ago, we saw a media a briefing which was held by, you know, the late uh, uh, King Goodwill uh, Gazulitini's brothers, that's uh, Prince Mbonisi, as well as uh, Prince Vulindela uh, and uh, Prince uh, Matubesi, where, where they were basically, you know, voicing out their uh, dissatisfaction uh, when it comes to the issue of the succession in the royal household. Uh, they were saying that, uh, in fact, uh, they are not going to be part of this uh, uh, historic event because uh, to them, you know, nothing was said and to them, uh, the Amazulu nation don't have a key. But of course, uh, today, we are expecting that certificate to be handed over, which basically means it's the end of the road for those who may not be, you know, agreeing with this uh, process, unless, of course, you know, they approach, you know, uh, the courts of this country where they are, you know, expected to basically voice out their grievances. But uh, uh, one of the critical issues or aspects uh, that are going to be, you know, ex uh, uh, observed when it comes to this uh, issue of succession is how the king, that king, Mrs. Zuluga Zulitini, is going to handle the issue of uh, disunity and divisions uh, within the royal family because uh, the, the, the people such as Prince Mbonisi who were very close to the late king uh, Goodwill Gazuelitini, you know, when he, you know, goes to address different uh, events at different platforms, you would see uh, Prince uh, Mbonisi accompanying the king, you know, the late king uh, Goodwill Gazuelitini. But uh, I suppose for, for, for them, even when he spoke to them, uh, those, the, 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 the three princes, princes did say that uh, it is said that in fact uh, they are not going to be part of this event and uh, they said it is said for them you know that uh, uh, you know these divisions have not been resolved up to now uh, but of course uh, that's going to be a task uh, that uh, uh, king misuzu lukazulitini together with the the members of uh, the royal family as a whole are going to be embarking upon in terms of trying to bring about unity in the royal family and uh, we, it is this event has basically you know taken a lot of preparation in terms of uh, 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 us getting where we are today. We saw a couple of months uh, ago where King Misuzu Lucas Veritini officially ascended to the throne when he did the ritual known as Ugungena Esbaini. Uh, that, according to the you know cultural experts, was basically you know the last step in terms of him ascending to the throne. But uh, this particular you know uh, 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 event where we are is the official handing over of uh, the certificate and uh, uh, Prince Mangosu Tubuteli as he was saying that uh, King Mrs. Zulu Gazulitin is already at the throne. Studio? King Misuzulu Kazuelitini is in the vicinity of Moses Mabida Stadium. He should be making his way inside the stadium any minute from now. Thousands are waiting his arrival. And of course, Blaine, you think about this particular moment, Damabuto Ingubo Silo are also getting ready uh, to be able to welcome their leader. You think about Indombi, you think about Oh Mama as well, Ugutibona. They also are waiting to hear from him. And you think about the moment on the 20th of August when the king entered the crawl, and that 
was a moment that Uzul was also pausing to remember some of the fallen kings, Ben, and at the same time, you think about a moment like today, the prayer continues, right. as some of Amabutu are saying, but for them, a day like today is a continuation of a prayer, a day for them that really sim yeah. symbolizes unity, symbolizes the potential of the Amazulu nation. Lipumile Ilanga Kwazulu talks to the theme, the sun has risen on the Zulu nation, the waves of hope, waves of hope following the passing of his father, King Gudu Zulatini, as well as his mother, the Regent Queen Manfomi Dlamini Zulu. And thousands awaiting his arrival right here, foreign dignitaries, remember it's a capacity crowd of 48,000 uh, that were, uh, was expected here as well. There's an overflow area in People's Park. That's where he, the, the king is actually passing, if I'm not mistaken, if I have my bearings right. So he's in the back end uh, of the stadium. So he will be soon making his way into the stadium. But some of the foreign dignitaries uh, comprise of His Majesty King Swati III of Eswatini, His Majesty King from Nigeria, His Majesty King from Z Zambia, His Majesty King from Zimbabwe as well. So stand by for that interview coming up. His Majesty King Gungunyane from the province of Gaza, from Mozambique, as well as the Prince and Spouse of Lesotho representing His Majesty King Letia III. And we saw in the stadium uh, former president of Botswana, Ian Kama, and four ministers from Swatini, some of the dignitaries attending. Yeah. And of course, Blaine, talking about uh, the dignitaries as well, you, you you know, you think of some of those that would have traveled yeah. far and wide to be here. And Undabezi, Bulelani, Lobengula, Gamziligazov, Umtwagazi in Zimbabwe is here in studio with us as we talk about this day and what it means for us. It's an honor. Uh, thank you so much for the visit. A day like today for you, what does it mean? Oh, this is monumental. Um, it's a display, it's a spectacular for the world to see that Africans actually value their own cultures, their own epithets, their own value systems as well. Uh, we've seen how the Brits do, we've seen the other nations do it. Why can't we do the same irrespective of which king it is, for that matter? So this is brilliant, this is beautiful, this is good, this is a good show of support. We've got, we, we are interli interlinked in terms of uh, heritage, we are interlinked because of blood, we are interlinked because of historical values and historical uh, elements that uh, we can't deny. Mm. So why not support your fellow king? Uh, as you know, mm -hmm. so was built literally by the two men. So you can't, you can't, you can't lie to anyone about it. You, 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 that's our heritage. So it's very important. It's, it's, it's key. We are ugly when we are divided. We are beautiful when we are bound together by a common thread. And the common thread is nation building, yes, sir. culture, tradition. Yes. Talk to us about the value of social cohesion at a time like this when you see a display such as this. You know what the nice thing is uh, when you are here? I am Kumar. Mm -hmm. You'll find a Kumalo here. Mm -hmm. You'll find a Kumalo in Bots, you'll find a Kumalo in Zim, you'll find a Kumalo in, 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 in Butuan. You'll find a, a Kumalo in Zambia, you'll find a Kumalo in Mozambique. And, and, and it tells us, we've had xenophobic attacks in the past. And why would you then think that the person, that because of a border, no longer is your brother, your kin, your, 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 your bloodline, any longer just because there's a border? It, 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 it shows the people that we are actually one. It's a sense of unity. It's, 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 and it's good when leaders are showing it um, so that the world can see, so that the, that the people can see, so that our kids in, 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 in the future can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you talk about uh, the unity, and, and it's something that Isilo also touched on, um, you know, talking about how the, the borders must not even begin to divide, um, and saying that Amazulu, wherever they are, they must also, you know, unite um, with everyone else. I wonder how 
uh, challenging is it for, for, for you as you're taking this to the future to bring in the young people on board to understand the roles that are played by monarchs in, in a modern democracy? In a modern democracy? Mm. <laughs> Interesting question. We'll touch on that. But I, I, think, I think with anything and everything, it needs to evolve. Ubu Kosi needs to evolve uh, according to present day. Uh, it needs to learn the new traits and the new challenges that the people face there every single day. Uh, leadership needs to actually be on the ground to listen. And it's a listening uh, attempt for us. Um, and, 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 and really to an act. Um, I mean, this is a simple <laughs> example of something that we see behind us here. That irrespective of what challenges we may face, if we come together, we are going to be okay. We are going to be okay. Uh, we've got a president that's invited us here. And we've got to applaud that because in other countries, some may not be able to do the same thing. So, so we've got to command, we've got to communicate, we've got to sit down and discuss uh, even the constitutional basis of whatever we do as leaders. We've got to sit down and say, look, uh, Mr. President, look, uh, government, look, this is what the people want because we are on the ground and how do we go about doing it? It's consultative uh, type of process. It's a consultative run process. So yes, yeah, so definitely, that's, that's our duty. Here in South Africa, we live in a constitutional democracy where the constitution is the supreme uh, law and is what brings us together. When you have African traditions and African customs, how is that balanced within a modern society? If you can't separate the two forces though. Um, Let's talk about democracy. Let's talk about constitutionalism. The constitution was developed to help people survive along each other, irrespective of their differences, right? So it's supposed to serve us. It's not the other way around. So, so, so you can't say um, culture is outside of that. Community morals is, is, is a huge thing in, in, in the constitution. That's what it is. Customs. Customary law is part of that constitution. So you can't separate the two forces. They are inter interlinked and intertwined. And you spoke about um, listening, being on the ground with people. And, and there's been a lot of talk, uh, you know, even around King Misuzuru, for example, to say the most important thing that happens now is to not be so far removed from people, is to ensure that the issues that they're facing, unemployment, the, the, the impact of COVID-19 is also being addressed. And I wonder, how do you begin to, you know, as a leader of the Amazon nation, as a leader of your nation as well, how do you begin to make sure that you use your voice mm. to really advocate for some of the changes that must take place on the ground? Yeah, back to the consultative process uh, issue. I think um, we need to be men of our word. Uh, we need to understand our people first. We need to understand what their plight is, what they are, what they are really going through. Uh, I can give you a simple example in terms of resources. So, I'm of course have land. What do you do with land? The first thought that comes to my mind is agriculture. Why do we not then instill the values as I'm of course Let's bring our people back to the ag agricultural type of value. Or to, even if you don't have 10,000 hectares, you've got a hectare. What can you do with that hectare? Hmm. It's education. It's, 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 that's where you start. And then you can go to government and say, look, this is what we have. This is what we don't have. This is where you come from. That is it. We know that you're very busy. Smokers cut some. Same course. Same course. I am scared to see the water. So glad. So glad. So glad. glad. So in Zimbabwe. You can only imagine, that tells you, uh, Blaine, of how far and wide people have traveled to be, to be able to make sure that South Africa celebrates this moment because even the Premier of Guazul Natal speaking very, very loudly about how this is not only an Amazon moment, but it is a moment of the continent, it's a moment of the world, it's a moment of South Africa as well. It matters. Why? Because it talks to how tradition and culture meet modernity new world what does it mean in terms of you and i experiencing this for the very first time for, for many the very first time remember the last time this happened was over 50 years let's listen in
I King Misuzumu, that's really team, the ninth king of the Amazonian nation. You think back, of course, uh, to this moment in 1971 when his father would have been handed the certificate and now it's his turn as he takes over the reins um, of the the running of the Amazonian nation. As you know, the passing of the scene of Samabanza Oenke uh, was met with grief, was met with great sorrow, uh, not only around this continent, but around the world. He saw all those messages of support for the new king as well and how would his father have shaped his leadership he takes over the reins now what sort of impact did his father's reign have on him as well as his mother the regent queen and you think of uh, the, the regent, I mean, uh, Queen Manthomi and um, Tlamini Zulu, who never even got to be able to have that regency gazetted because she passed on, um, you know, just soon after, you know, the nation was mourning the yeah. passing of the king. And, 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 and listening to some of what the king says when he talks about his mother, he speaks about, you know, her very fondly when he was speaking in that interview on Okozi FM, talking about how he grew up with love. So you can only imagine the love mm. that he feels right now from the nation, probably radiating from inside out today. Imagine how emotionally conflicted he is at this, this very stage, knowing in his mind that he lost his father, mother in quick succession, but taking over this important role. It's so important. Let's, let's listen. Mm -hmm. Let's just pray to all of us. King Misuzulu Razuelitini has now entered the Moses Mabeda Stadium. You can only imagine you'll hear a resounding, <laughs> resounding sound as soon as he touches that pitch there, Blaine. And you think about the fact that um, the succession battle in the Amazulu nation has always been one that is contentious and a lot of experts saying that um, you know when when you think of the fact that right now we are witnessing it on television people think it's a new thing but right now they're hoping that there will be a quietening of all the dissenting voices that comes to his kingship. And the apparent animus within such kingdoms it's it's nothing new it's not unprecedented when you look or seen through the long lens of history you see it dating right back to the legendary king Chaka. so this is nothing new but as you mentioned an important point playing out in real time you get to witness it the bad part of it is that people tend to pick sides mm. uh, your uh, stances are harder but i think one of the main aims or the vision for the new king or the king uh, currently is to how to unify uh, the, not only the nation but as well as the royal family. As uh, uh, Mr. Zulu was saying, mm. it begins at home. And really carrying on those traditions uh, that, you know, date back to even pre-colonial um, South Africa, pre-apartheid South Africa, the traditional leadership, you know, being an old age system. So really he's got a lot of it on his shoulders. He needs to carry the, the flag. He needs to really pick up yeah. where his predecessors left off and you're thinking of a world right now in fact a nation that he's leading that looks to him 
to, to speak about some of the issues they're facing, to speak about some of the issues of land, to look at how he's going to be able to resolve that particular question, especially for his own subjects. So important. I wish you could feel what we feel right here at Moses Mabeda Stadium. You know what? Let's listen in. Let's, let's give you a sense of what we're talking about here. about to enter the stadium. The excitement is not that palpable. Mm, I did you wish you were on the pitch? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hit side. <laughs> and uh, saw the visuals earlier on of Ian uh, Um We saw Ogamafu, uh, also saw Ogandrofu, um, and those uh, the other wives of the late Amazon King Kukunzu and Tinga Beguzulu. And uh, also, of course, in attendance, uh, former heads of state, um, we saw from President Jacob Zuma, from President Tabon Bogu, but let's listen in to some of those that are arriving now. Anticipation of his arrival, the uh, handing over, the presidential handing over of the certificate of recognition uh, to the Amazulu king, Mrs. Zulu Singobile Kazuelati. You 
You know, something very interesting that you, you mentioned uh, a little earlier on, Bongiwe, when talking to the king from Zimbabwe. In terms of traditional leadership, as well as kings and queens being on the ground and adapting. Mm. For instance, we're dealing with a pandemic. The pain of the pandemic is all too apparent uh, here in South Africa and around the world. And what role does traditional leaders, as well as kings and queens, have to play in order to pay to some of the pain? And uh, you think of how this is a province that would have also been hit by the July unrest as well. Right. Some of the business uh, owners are still trying to rebuild, community members still trying to build, rebuild. Some of the, the roads, uh, bridges are still not functional. So this is a province that really needs um, a lot of help, a lot of voices on the ground to speak about the plight of the people here. And you think about the minister um, of finance also talking about the support that's also coming once again to the province of Wazul Natal in order to assist this province to rebuild. So those are the things that the Amazulu nation are looking to King Misuzulu Gazwantin right now to see just how Isilo is going to use his voice there. How is Isilo going to use his voice even around issues of gender-based violence? Because right. that is also some of you know the things that he talks about as he says that young men must also be groomed as well. Mm -hmm. Police Minister Becky Fele in your shot currently. I think that's the roar that you're hearing from the crowds in the back. Uh, the dignitaries arriving over 2,500 and you, we ran through the list. Uh, a number of foreign dignitaries here all waiting in anticipation to see this event. Uh, largely a formality because the king is on the throne already. But it's an important, no doubt, as a momentous historic occasion. Many will be witnessing this for the first time as we keep on referring to the last one that happened in terms of coronation. It was back in 1971. His father, King Gudul Zoliti Nikabeko Zulu. Um, and that happened all those years back, 51 years my math is correct, 51 years later, we now experiencing this. And I was just telling you off here, uh, Bongi, it's such a privilege to be part of this and going through it in real time. Uh, it's amazing to be here. Yeah, it is amazing to be here indeed, Blaine, and you think about some of Izinduna, some of those who come from the royal uh, household, who are also here looking to, 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 you know, really see how he charts a way forward. You think of Izinyosi, uh, Zesilo as well, and the role that they're playing, talking about the transition um, a little earlier on about, you know, young and old. So how does Zesilo begin to unify his own family, but also translating that to to the Amazulu nation, also bringing back the young people on board, yeah. who some of them are starting to question the relevance of you know the monarchs in a post-democratic South Africa. So he's got quite his work cut out for him. Mm. And, and 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 really one thinks of even some of what he said as well to say that I need to make sure that more and more young men are able to treat women yeah. in the manner in which they need to, but they're young. They need to be brought closer to, to, to be able to be taught how to be a man. And those are some of the programs that he was even saying yes. to um, our colleagues at Onokozi FM that that's what he wants to start mm. tackling. We've been talking to Tlagene Pozulu a little early on and he alludes to the fact that he's probably, he thinks that the majority of the crowd here would be young people. And what sort of lessons can they learn uh, from the king in terms of his addresses, what sort of priorities would he set himself uh, to address? Let's listen in if you have visual uh, audio on this. Oh, wait, you know, I'm So this event at uh, Mabida Stadium is in three parts. Uh, firstly, 
We've been on air from six o'clock. How did I know that? My battery is dead <laughs> on my iPad. So we've been on there for a long time, but it's so worth it because the build-up has been so exciting. It's a learning curve as well, especially for me, although growing up in this uh, province, uh, you learn things every day. And I think it talks to that issue of social cohesion. One way of breaking barriers in terms of race, in terms of color, in terms of creed, is simply understanding the next culture. Mm -hmm. Stop being insular, talking to your fellow man, your fellow woman, and by that, breaking down barriers. Definitely, uh, Blaine, you know, as uh, the, the Premier has been saying of KwaZulu Natal, that this is a, a, an event that is bigger than just the province. He's, she's hoping that South Africans actually embrace this, the continent embraces. And you're looking at even some of the dignitaries that they have here. And, you know, when one thinks about this event, Blaine, you also think about the, the, the backdrop against mm. that this is happening. You think of Prince Simagate, who um, is the eldest son of the late Mdlogobane, and he is still laying a claim to the throne. At the same time, there's Prince Muzabaz, um, who is also saying that he is the rightful heir. So th there's quite a lot that, uh, you know, is in fact unfolding. And you think about some of these battles that, you know, others will talk about to say, in order to be able to break down those barriers, you need to also be able to unify. You need to unify the family. You need to unify the nation. You also need to unify, as you say, people across color lines Correct. in order to be able to understand that they're all South Africans. I was listening to an interview with the king um, and he did mention that he loves his brother from the bottom of his heart, uh, Prince Simakade, as well as his father's brother, Prince Mbonisi. Mm -hmm. um, so the question now is, how does he heal that rift within the family and what would that mean in terms of the, the, the general population as well as the Amazon nation? that spill over in terms of a harmonious royal family. How does it play out in terms uh, of these innovations? And you listened to him yesterday, even after that short prayer with Archbishop Tabunakoba, who we also saw a short while ago, talking about how he understands that there's a lot on his shoulders right now. And uh, and as we talk about that, let's uh, listen in as uh, Inyo of course, are also um, continuing with their work, but also Mabuto and their leaders now um, really getting ready to welcome the king.
Just listening uh, to the uh, premier uh, the other day talking about you know paramount to the activities of this momentous day. Uh, there's also an opportunity for the nation at large to share in this, and there's a number of uh, dignitaries. Oh, let's just let's just listen in.
Sound engineer, the show with the shall I tell my swagal gentleman just kitchen missing mic. The sound guys kitchen missing mic, the Philharmonic Orchestra, KZN, who was the swagal.
Bonga, Snatalapa, opening consecration by Archbishop Tabo Mahoba, um seven sweats, so Kala would get square legum, Dala was in so Bonke, who was a Kambegas. Masi tanda se Bafo wetu no tate wetu Si hlangene lapa njengu mteni kankulu nkulu Pambi kukababa wetu Ukuzo mtumisa no gumbonga Ngesipo se ngeku yake usilo umisi zulu Ambizi leyo kuba ahone isizwe samazu. I present to you with the intention for his coronation as king of the Zulu nation. I request all of you present here today to pay due reference and devotion to him as your king and also ask that you respect and honor him as your rightful king. When I went over, when I went over, by yete, masi tandaze, O Lord our God who upholds and governs all things, in heaven and on earth receive our humble prayer with our thanksgiving for king mrs zulu set over the zulu nation by your grace and providence 
to be their king. Bless him and imbue him with your Holy Spirit. Enrich him with your heavenly grace. And prosper him with your joy and enduring peace. So that in all his actions and words, he may glorify your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit is worthy of blessing, honor and glory, and power forever and ever. Amen. This is our Lalela Ihubo. Ihubo Elmiselele Nkonzo. Ihubo 84. Mayes Tandega Izindu Zako. Simagate Wamabang. Umpefumlo Wami Ulanga Zelela Mate Gega Simagate. Uwamele. Intizoyami Nomzimba Wami. Umhubela ngawetaba unkolongolo opila yo. Guguba umzwilili usutolele indu. Nengonja ne isichege. Lapo ibega kona ama pupu ayo. Nisho ama alter akos magate. Wama banda. Ngosiami unkolongolo wami. Babu sisiwe abashalenshi ni yako Baya gushala megubonga Babu sisiwe abantu Abamanta abo aguwe Abazinjela zako Sisezi nchizwenu zako Batabula imfunda yezi nyembezi Bayenze ibe indawo yezi petu Yebo imvula yokana iyembe sang esbosiso baya bekula emanjeni baze babona ga le pambgan kulungulu ezioni simaga ten kulungulu amabanda yizwa umkulego wami ubege inchebe kulungulu gachagobe. Ngolongolo Sikangusetu Pega Ube no musa goko Jueyo wako Goguba usugulunye Ema kumeni ako Lushe gunezi Ngulungwane Niketa ugulinda Emnyango wensu Gangulungulu wami Gunogushala Ema tende ni ababi Goguba usmagatu nkulu nkulu Uilanga Nesishangu Usmagatu ya kubapa umusa Notumo Agai kubangisha luto Olushe Aba hamba ngobukoto Usmagatu wa mabanja Ubu sisi umuntu Owe tembayo Magutunye sui sene ndota na numoya onwele Nse ngoba kwa gunzali kukaleni Kuse njalo na manje Kwea ubanjalo kuse kubepagate Amen
from Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Amen. May I speak in the name of God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer of life. Amen. Your Majesty, King Mrs. Zulu, Your Excellency, President Ramaphosa, Your Majesty, King of Eswatini, Honorable Prince Mutelezi, Your Majesties and Royal Highnesses, and members of the other royal families, members of the Diplomatic Corps, program directors, government ministers and officials, the many religious leaders here present, dear sisters and brothers in Christ, I am honored to join you in this historic event. Thank you for inviting me today. I'm also privileged to be joined here by Bishop Nkosinati Ndwandwe of the Diocese of Natal, Bishop Vigin Dokubungulani of the Diocese of Zululand and the Royal Chaplain Ashtikin Bongani Mshongo. A warm welcome to all and most importantly, thank you to the organizing committee and also to those who gave their time and were involved in the preparations for today. I thank God for the unsung heroes and heroines who have kept the gospel light burning here and throughout their lives. Their zeal and their prayers and their service and witness. I especially thank God for his faithfulness to all who have made it possible for this celebration of your majesty's coronation to take place today. Our gratitude to God for his sustaining care for you particularly during the turbulent times of the past and for affording you this time of great hope and opportunity, even though, of course, it comes with challenges. In our reading today, the psalmist gives us a picture of a pilgrim newly arrived at a temple in Jerusalem. After a long journey of eager anticipation, the pilgrim is now admiring the beauty of the Lord's house. The psalmist is impressed first by the loveliness of the temple, then seeing even the tiny birds making themselves at home, he appreciates the safety offered by that house. So he associates the temple with how the Lord provides for us places of sacrifice for sin, reconciliation and communion with God. As one translation says, my heart and my body cry out for you, the living God. So sisters and brothers, today we too can cry out for the joy in celebration of this important milestone in the history of the Zulu Kingdom. Your Majesty, we are grateful for the close relations between the Anglican Church and Amazulu going back in the 19th century, recognizing with shame instances where sound cultural traditions were undermined, but also proud of the role of those such as the Colenso family that played in defending the majesties King Tetrayo and Denizulu. We recall to the Anglican antecedents of King Denizulu and of King Solomon and of how your grandfather, a good Anglican himself, built houses for worship, 
for which we remain deeply grateful. Your father, His Majesty King Zolitini, was also a great and faithful member of our church who not only attended worship, but also held up his faith in the Lord as a moral compass for many. Prince Mutelezi, we also recognize your long service as a faithful Christian who has been blessed with a long life and remains actively involved as a support system to the royal family. Prince Mutelezi, as you approach the time when you will be called home, we appeal that to happen in a spirit of reconciliation and healing. Your Majesty, you too can build and leave a powerful legacy of your own. Your grandmother was a person who stood tall in society. It does not matter that you are called to this high office with its onerous responsibility when you are relatively young. You too can grow and become tall in the eyes of the Zulu nation, the South African nation and the world. We are saddened by the uh, dissension within the royal family, for it does not build but detracts from the legacy that King Zulitini left behind. It is my humble prayer that in the near future you may be able to find each other and reconcile. Reconciliation is very critical. Our church recognizes that for reconciliation, which God wants to see happen, there needs to be both justice and accountability. Thus, in the church, we are called for the historic legacy of colonialism to be deconstructed and any remaining complicity of our member churches in the British and American empires to be ended. But God's call for reconciliation is a challenge not only to the royal family and the church, it is a challenge to all of us. And for reconciliation to be achieved in our divided society in South Africa today, there needs to be both justice and accountability, the achievement of which is the responsibility of all, including both traditional and elected leaders. Mr. President, we are grateful for your steadfast focus on rooting out state capture from the public and private sector, and the faith community pledges its strong support for your latest initiatives. But Mr. President, no one will be more aware than yourself of how public trust in government have been, have been eroded by leaders who have elevated the pursuit of private profit above ethical public service in the past decade. In this province and nationally, can we say that justice and accountability are served when mafias in the taxi and construction industry hold legitimate business people to ransom, closing down their operations and even killing their staff if they refuse to pay protection money? Can we say, Mr. President, that justice and accountability are served when the states fails to bring to justice all those responsible for the killing of Abatali Basem Jondo, both nationally and in this province, Mr. President, can we say that justice and accountability are served when migrants from elsewhere in Africa are scapegoated for just being here? In the private sector, can we say that justice and accountability are served when intergenerational inequality of the apartheid era continues, when the sons and daughters of the wealthy flourish while the sons and daughters of the poor are caught in a self-perpetuating spiral of inadequate education, denied opportunity and poverty? Your Majesty and Mr. President, as I end, the basic consensus 
which has underpinned our nation since 1994, is crumbling. Levels of distrust are higher than ever before. Confidence in leaders, whether in the public or private sector, is at record low. Is it, is it not time for all of us, traditional leaders, political leaders, civil society, religious leaders, leaders in the economy representing both capital and labor, for all of us to come together to convene consultation, culminating in a national endeavor as a way of growing up as a nation and beginning to heal a society characterized by fear and a damaged psyche. Your Majesty, as you embark upon your reign as king of a nation that is recognized internationally as one of the greatest in Africa, I believe you are being called upon to step up and emulate the highest traditions of your ancestors. I pray that you will summon the resources of our faith and allow God to help you fulfill this honorable calling. May God bless you richly, Your Majesty. God bless you, Mr. President, and your cabinet and all the leaders of our nation. God bless the royal family. God bless South Africa, her leaders, and all her people. Amen. Now we're going to ask the king who remains seated to take some vows following the legal recognition by President Matemela Cyril Ramaphosa in terms of the law, section 183A and B of the Traditional and Khoisan Leadership Act, Mrs. Zulus Tsingobine has been officially recognized as the king of Amazulu by the president. Through the noble calling of royal succession, following the death of his father, King Goodwill Zwaditini, and that of his mother, Regent Queen Manto Midlameni, we come to install as King Mrs. Zuli Sukobile Ka Zwaditini, the undoubted king of the Zulu nation. Jesus, who is prophet, priest, and king, has called you, your majesty, to share in his work of sanctifying and shepherding his people. You will endeavor with a shepherd's love to exercise with wisdom and mercy the authority and oversight entrusted to you by Christ our King to serve and fulfill this royal calling on behalf of God and the people of this nation, I ask you to stand and make your vows as a pledge to serve and lead your people.
als Kollege. Bulungulu Somanja. Ogu Pinchi Siefu Mayo Ugenza Loku. Magagu Kubabalo na Manja Ukfeza Lumsebenzi. Uza Peleli Sumsebenzi Umkusha Ukale Uwe. Aktual Senge Kini Sola Kakuli Sengu Bungele Bake. Amen. Amen. O Lord and Heavenly Father, who by anointing with oil has of old made and consecrated kings, priests, and prophets to teach and govern thy people, bless and sanctify thy Bless and sanctify thy chosen servant, O Mrs. Zulus Mobile Gazwalitini, King of the Zulu Nation, who by our office and ministry is now to be anointed with his oil and consecrated king. Strengthen him, O Lord, for service. 
with the spirit of wisdom and good governance, the spirit of wise counsel and sound knowledge and true godliness, and fill him, O Lord, with the spirit of holy fear, now and forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Your hands are anointed with holy oil. Your, your head is anointed with holy oil. As kings, and priests and prophets were anointed as Solomon was anointed king by Zodok the priest and Nathan the prophets and following in the rich line of successions of kings of Isizwe Samazulu. So you are anointed, blessed and consecrated king over the peoples who the Lord your God has given you to rule and govern in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, who by his Father was anointed with oil of gladness above his fellows, by his anointing pour down upon your head and heart the blessing of the Holy Spirit, and prosper the works of your hands, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the unity of the Blessed Trinity, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. King Bessizulu, take this ring as a symbol of your love and faithfulness to the Zulu nation, may it daily remind you of the vows and covenant which you have made today before God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our gracious King, receive the Holy Scriptures. Guard your faith by feeding on the Word of God. Amen. Let us pray for the King. O oh God, who provides for all your people and who sustains all with love, grant unto, unto this your servant, Mrs. Zulu Singobile Kazulitini, King of the Zulu Nation, the spirit of wisdom and government, that being devoted unto you with his whole heart, he may so wisely govern and by per persevering in good works, he may by your mercy come to your everlasting kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray for the King's family. God. Heavenly Father, your Son knew the love and care of an earthly home. Watch over the King's family and bind them together in love and godly discipline through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. And the same Lord God Almighty grant the peoples assembled here for this, for this great and solemn occasion and all the peoples of our nation fearing God may enjoy peace, plenty and prosperity through Jesus Christ our Lord to whom with the eternal Father and God the Holy Spirit be glory in the church, world without end. Amen. Siabonga, Kakulu, Ubabu Ashpiso, Mahoba, Um Seven Zomukulu, Sizu, Asanzeleona, Sifisu Poli, Sagonia, or Siabaton Pakakulu, which is sound, the Melo Shupa, Bast Ole, Botaga Ukulu Figil, Mukulego, Silas Kulu, Siatolisa, the sound. We are looking at the sense of what Suma don't do not hold. Ogazuna, Tali, and Sekhan Seminigas, the Tuba, the Pagati way to see a visa, Uguti, see acknowledge His Excellence, President of the Republic of South Africa, President Cyril Ramaphosa, the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, Babu David Mabuza, His Majesty King Muswati the Third. His Majesty King Mrs. Zulu, Gazuelchini, Undunangulu, Wazul Natal, Siakrela Gabam Sondez, Umshonishwa, Unomusa, Kamgi de Tube, O former President, President, Speaker of Parliament, Okona Mamungagula, Deputy Speaker, was a sham teto, Ministers and Deputy Ministers present. Members of the judiciary, the elite of acting judge, president, Babu Mok, Babu Madondo, Premier of the Houghton Province, Babu Lusuf, former premiers present, provincial MECs, Agwazul Natal, Mtuan Wagapindangen, member of parliament and provincial legislatures, leaders of political parties in our parliament, mayors and councillors. Abantuana was sent to Ul, Amakosa, Ton Peggy, the sent to Ul, international dignitaries in our midst, members of diplomatic corps, leaders of the faith based community, Amabuto, O Mamabes Pitipit, Indo, 
namukelekile ngaphakathi nonke siyafisa ukuthi ke sinikeze unduna nkulu mzwakele asondele ngaphambili sichaba ukuthi ke izothi have program sizwile indaba ye sound sichaba ukuthi babhisi ngoba seze sabancenga ukuthi siqisa baconnect ezase stadium kuze kuzwakale lungathi usuku oluhle nolukhulu kangaka ubekwa isilo indlula mithi isound loke iba nobuhiqi hiqi icaba ukuthi nguna umnyama yasindeka isound kodwa usuku luhle lukhulu lona siyafisa nje ukuthi izoba kanjalo sificaba ngukuthi ke okwamanje siyibambe kahle wakaduma ngosiboniso mina igama ichutshiwe umbuso umbutho wesizwe ukuthi ngibo u-MC ka Asia ngaphambili sihambisana nomntwana uthulani eshayela nalo uhlelo ozongena late uma sekahle sicaba ukuthi unduna nkulu useredi nje ngamanje ukwenza umsebenzi ungangena nduna nkulu wena wesilo si sukuma nokubingelela ngenkulu enhloni ipho umongameli umhloniswa uramaphosa future are raised aloft today as you take this road to continue being the light that illuminates our future You are the hope and the father of the Zulu nation, irrespective of political party. We are particularly grateful, Your Majesty, in the following family to the late of King Dinizulu and other kings of our nation. The provincial government will continue to support and honor the throne by providing all the necessary support to the Zulu to the royal family and the institution of traditional leadership ukunikezelwa ka le certificate namhlanje njengomlando kubufakazi okuqanda ikhanda nokuphuma kwelanga kabusha esizweni esabunjwa ilembe eleqamanya malembe ngokukhalipha isizwe sijabulile ukuthi besinobaba osithandayo othanda bonke abantwana babo wena wesilo bathi ohlelo isizwe safa olwembiza ngokwebuza kwesilo okabheka izulu kodwa lezo zinyembezi namhlanje seziphenduke injabulo ngoba ilanga selibile laphuma laqhubeka nokukhanya okuletha ithemba nothando esizweni samazulu As we celebrate today and welcome all of you to our beautiful province it is up that we borrow from former state man Winston Churchill when he said is the one on I quote all creeds all classes every recognizable section of opinion we are supported by a free parliament and a free press but there is one bond which unite us and sustain us in the public regard namely as it increasingly becoming known that we are prepared to proceed to all extremely to endure them and to enforce them that is our bond that unite us on behalf of the provincial government of KwaZulu Natal I take this opportunity to welcome you all on this majestic KwaZulu Natal. We are honored with your esteemed presence on this important occasion of the history of the Zulu nation. The majority of whom are witnessing this for the first time in their lives. We welcome you to KwaZulu Natal. We welcome you to this beautiful occasion 
wena wesilo yabezitha siyabonga phathi ohlelo so siyabonga kakhulu inankulu Sikabaka <laughs> Ubabu open Bapela is also the acknowledgement in the introduction of our guest. God, I guess, Ubabu Tigel makes Suga Lapo. Who call co program directors of the young girl. See, Thor, the Woody Ambaga, the sound. Who was the E. Kulum Zetes Kavile. Ziguazo, which is Genesis Genaga. Two. Nati, head. his majesty no president baba biza kuthi ozani baye basabela bafikile banje to ilokho ngizokwenza kwamanje who state the three uh, arms of state ohamba phambili oholayo u president jengwa bese bemchilo uzawuthula u minister we khotha ngabanzi Umatamela Serra Ramapos. And then U Deputy President, U David Tabete Mabuza Nayukona, U Minister of Corporate Governance and Regional Affairs, U Dr. Nkosazana Tamini Zuma, and Kunama Ministers I 15, La Gugut Bakona, Nati La Gulum Sevindu, Umku. Kuna ma former presidents amanye seka begi wela His Excellency Tarom Begi and His Excellency Jacob Zuma. Kuna former deputy president Her Excellency Pumzi Lemlambo Muga. Koto ke kubenzi mkulu kutukona uzo watula haba kwa zulu natal na laba ya wase swatini anguazi minangu tikumatule. Kukoge, kukindo miaseli sutu, tuno prince iso beren, otunwe uking litie the third, the third, wiki miaseli sutu, na abobako na lava medu. Emunako, na alinase France, her serene highness, princess Charlene of Monaco na ye uko na la. Kumako siwe chwa semzanzi Suno king asange nestau Of amakoza Suno king makosonge the second mabena Of amandebele Suno king pangaliso ndamase Of amambondo asenyande Tunabalobedu kinship regent Umbaba atabuchachi Of balobedu Na batembu, basa kote, ukumgani, usiambonga matanzimu. Rina lumure na umuhulu, wamu pedi, bakwe na wamu pedi, mara na muhulu mu pedi. Na lumure na muhulu mtuwe di mota, wabato kwa ba mota ka free start. Kuna batembu kinship delegation, also, Guna Maha have a kinship delegation. Bonga Lavanto Lava Sevacon. Who parliament is Melo Speaker, the National Assembly, and Honorable Dossi View and Mapisa Nagona. 
Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Lichisa Senodi, the Chairperson of National Council of Provinces, Honorable Amos Masondo, Deputy Chairperson of the National Council of Provinces, Honorable Sylvia Lucas, Namalunga, we Parliament the Abahamba Nabo, Kakulukuma Committee, the Select Committee, Abahamba Gulum Kimbu, we quarter. The next judiciary, the Hall of Hamby, the Judge President uh, Madondo, the Nabahamby San and the Judge President Lehodi, the Judge President Musi, the Judge President Hendricks, the Judge President Thorpe, and the Judge President Talit. Was it not a premier, Sega Kulumile, in Bonile, Sega Welcomeno Premier, was a out Umama Wetu? Numbers are two big group as a Kulumanani, the proper premier as a Kautin who finance are the Sufi. Possibly not that legislature, the whole of Amulu Speaker of the legislature of Akona, Wonka Baluna, not the British Speaker Nayukona, by seventy six Amalunga, where possibly not that legislature by Abakon. A Taiwani Metro Municipality, all of Ambi. Work Executive Mayor who cancel and told us to Deputy Executive Mayor Councilor Pilani Mavunda and and Honourable Councilor Zasetebi Nbongi Bakon. We National House of Traditional and Coalition Leaders Yola Pambilu Kustalo Umama Wetumboska Zimzauli. We go to the Natal Provincial House Yola Pambili. Uh, um, Kosi Shinga na Ibakona na Madunga Wayo Honke Dein Kosi Zongu Mokukwana Religious Sector Deko Basen Baboni no Anglican Archbishop of Cape Town uh, U Dr. Tavo Cecil Makhova U Hama no Bishop Kose Gabe Nsen Baboni no Kotwa Eban Leni Kuna Bafundi Se Abakulo Abakona Abai Seventy Abakona ngos babi zabo onke bai seventy, and babi bai neke bahamba ne banda lavo. Political leaders, dama political parties akona, u ANC u melo na haya, and then u ACDP u melo, u GA u melo, IP u melo, UDM u melo ne EFF. Abalat abalunga amalidas lava ma political parties. Uh, ANC Gaulo President, where Sizwe, who said I'm a person to go back as a column. But I've run Kenneth Misha Ukona, Ron Ken Hazen, where GA Ukona, Uvelenko Sin, if I miss away IP Ukona, Ujadaral Bandolo, Miss Away UDM Ukona, not to last my name away EFF Ukona. Pulaba Abamele, I'm a diplomatic course by 37. Aba figi la gulum kimi we tulo namta disi aba bonga kuti na bo baye baye ga yonki to bat baza la ikwa zulu natal kuma chapter nine institutions na u professor Luca Bunso ma we C R L Rights Commission u advocate colleague colleague the acting public protector u kona tu no Mrs Saka Mrs Saka ni malulega u auditor general u hamba ne deputy general ya. The Congress of Traditional Leaders, the National Office Bearers Wabo, Akogola Pambili, the President Hoshi Matupa Mukwena, the Deputy President Wabo, Hoshi Pilani, the Nopala Jigelela Wabo Umkiva. I'm a state owned and entities, I'm a business private sectors, by 70 Abane Kunda, and was Babala Bonke, what Abakona Nabo. No buying a go business or machine, Abaco and Abuko to Bachelila, about Director General's National Bacona Nabo, and then also Kazulu Natal, Director General Lukona, Nama Heads, Waka Wonga, Department I 10, Naloko Gagasi, the Sangma to Nile, Bacona Monga, Labulum Tim, Lomkulu, Yabo, Program Director.
by eight. Pagati kwe tu sboma bakolos silo samabanda eskona pagati kwe tu nonlongolo paisela His Majesty King Mswati the Third paeti wenonga pagati namakoskat pato anabonge ba sento kolo yase swati ni isinduona namaboto. Mtu nakulu wa zulu Mtu anawa wa pindangene no inkosi ya sizi wa sababu telezi Mtu anawa wa fishing indi, mtu anawa filmu wa nga chale ndota Kati nuzulu, no nchungulu, kona pakati kwetu Nchungwazi, ukwabini Ekane isilo sawa keto mdandayo Inkosi upegu zulu, ukusha Unchukulu untombela Oye kano mtuana Oye ibamba pkosi Mtuana wase ngangpilile Mkona pakati kwetu Unchukulu Unchukulu bau nina wesilo Wabakona Kona unchukulu waketo mtandayo Unchukulu Matamini Matamini Unchukulu Wakwalindu usulu Unjungulu, unjofu, kacheni, unjungulu, wasondini, unjungulu mafu, kaika mpegwa, wongela haba unjungulu, haba unina besilo, haba fuwa po besilo haba kona, na utatewa po besilo haba kona, ama kande zintu zonke, Kwa sentu mkulu Kwa yina bantu anabonka bantu wabengkosi Nge baba alila pange nga eskati siya chabula Kutibabe kona abengkosi Indu una na mabuto gazulu Ako na pati kwetu O mama ono matemba ispiti piti nse silo sa mabanta Esko na pati kwetu Izimba alize sizwe Esko na Isizwe sonke Eskona Na babonga ababaliwe Ewa mtonishwa Oka mgana pabonga bantu Babu mungelegele Chokoza kakulu Ta umbewe gulolo shelo Obangi akubega noma bege tulanje Batubege tulile uza wetu Umtombe nukuti ingi Bambisani na ushelo Singa kalungi isi Oglande layo lapo Ubaba uko uti ngumalo Wezo sinigeza nje Umlande umfushane Wesizwe sama zulu Kona jene sizwe sama zulu Kufane loguti Ube kona esuwe nzayo Ama buto Na zulu akona na papakati wetu No mama mespiti piti Kayene itombi Bazo kwenza Gafushane je ukombi isu kutiba kona Kuti ya mazulu wa kona la Doktela kuti ikisalunga kubaba unumano Pese kuti Indu una zamabuto Kezenze ukulega ukulu Okuzo tumwale nguja ukombi isu kuti Oba na bakona Ndela nje kuti imaikro eyotwa Yela paya mapagati Okuzo kulega mabuto onke Kanti zizo kulega ni intombi, zi hazi kuti intombi za wazulu Zi kulega itine silueni Baya zi noma ama besizwe sa mazulu Kutipa kulega kwa watine silueni sabu Kela gei maikro ye la pae mabutweni Nikaisa nje umzuzu o watu wa zui Kwenza loku abelunga Kusoluazi kubaba umumano Omlani umfishane Kwezizwe Amabuto azo kwenza aje kubu isaka nubu kulega Abese tete la o mama enga bakutibona bazo ngeena na itombi 
Sokoza la ko. Se muge no mama bespiti piti. Kaba besa la ka o. Buso ni na te la. Abakulele, oh, 
Baba Zwete Togos Directors, Your Majesty the King, Bayed, Your Excellency, President of South Africa and Deputy Presidents, all royalty present, kingships from other countries, Your Grace and His Entourage, Prime Minister of the Zulu Kingdom, Premier of KwaZulu uh, Natal, Justice Madondo and the Legal Fraternity, the Diplomatic Corps, Isinduna, Distinguished Guests, <laughs> Ladies and Gentlemen, Amabanta Onke. On this very special day to the Zulu Nation, 
to its relatives, affiliates, and friends. We would like to briefly refer to the origins of the children of Mguni, who was the son of Ntu. Ntu is believed to have sprung out of a reed through the powers of Mvelingang, Batabuga Oshangi. Mvelingang, the one who came to be, the first to exist, the one who is an infinite beginning and the same who has an infinite end. Uso nini na nini. Zulus are part of the Nguni people who moved from Kemet or Ejuba, the northern tip of Africa. They followed the river Nile and settled in Egypt more than 2,000 years ago. Their culture and that of the Egyptians had some osmotic relationship evident from their language and philosophies. They were very careful not to reveal their historic wisdom to foreigners. Hence, to this day, Zulus don't share secrets of the nation with strangers or unstable characters even within families and clans. Greek writings which are ascribed to Hermes Trismegistus of ancient Egypt postulate as follows regarding what the ancient Egyptians called Mart, what the Abenguni called Ubuntu. Quote, the divine mind, Ubuntu, is holy of like nature with eternity. It is motionless in itself, but though stable is yet self-moving, it is holy and incorruptible and everlasting. There is a school of thought which espouses that Amazulu descend directly from the patriarch Zulu who was son of Nguni King in the Congo Basin. Their research further suggests that Amazulu migrated southward, interfacing with the sun. They exchanged some cultural practices and incorporated certain linguistic formations like click sounds, o, e, 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 kaka. If this is true, then Amazulu must have had a tremendous flair and genius for language development, since the click Q or Q alone combines with so many consonants and forms new unrelated words from the same click. K becomes Inglina which is angry, ikuma, which is he, inginaba, which is problem, umkondo, which is mind, ikanda, which is egg. The present census of South Africa is 60,6%. 23% of this population speaks Zulu, followed by people who speak Isikosa, it's 16%. Isi Zulu is spoken mainly in Guazulu Natal, in Gauteng, in Pumalanga, in Limbombo, in Cape Town, in South Africa. Beyond South Africa, this is only spoken in Lesotho, Eswatini, Malawi. It is also spoken in Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Malawi, Mozambique. Although Zamba is not listed as a country where Zulu is spoken, where Zulu is spoken, there are first names like. Tandiwe, Jabulani, Nigiwe, and surnames like Zulu, Ndlovu, Ngwenya, Mlambo, which you find in Zambia. This is Zulu is also quite special for its mnemonic value in words which are used in praise names, gallantry praises, and proverbs. Izengelo, Uguhai, Nkondo, The language is tonal 
and some words have the quality of aiding memory of history and philosophies which were handed down to generations without writing them in any form. The first knowledge of domestic and wild animals which Amazulu have, the enormous vocabulary they have related to the colors of skin and shapes of horns of cattle resonates with the wealth of insights which the Sun people also have in this regard. Amazulu then cycled at different places according to King's preferences. We still have major settlements of the following same names at specific places in South, in South Africa in spite of the intermingling, urbanization, and industrialization and colonial policies. There is demographically the Mtetwa area, the Dwanbe area, the Mutelezi area, the Sitore area. The settlement patterns were not exclusive. A major synonym had a lot of affiliates who had their unique cultural practices, thus challenging the stereotyping of every group with a particular clan name as ethnic, let alone tribalistic. There is also a well-motivated configuration that in the course of the Zulu's migration from, from Kemet, they intermingled with Egyptians, Jews, and Greeks. The similarities of some artifacts, e.g. clay pots, calabashes, grass baskets, milking pots, and philosophies, bear some evidence in support of this line of thought. We are the law of Zulu, my brother, my children, and dad. On the last day, so Zulu was this a isilo sao, jenge zigo, jenge nom tebe, jenge umba no mazulu ne sin. Song ke jenge ba ekoro no pele duguti, wata le no kuba isibu go sobun, esipegela ubutaga, no kupuwa wa wa wo. As we get to Tabandu, Banga Pukama Pukuna Mafa, as have this out was pumping the Roguti, Nege Wood, the Omyonati, Muslegas, and Bishop of the Sicilati, we over Figella in the Labo, our town, Uzul, Usem Tangen, Ufundiswa, Ekala, Ukuluma, No Pila, Uguti. Ageko maba uto mapande maba ni nina venga isha na mamiti. Maeti. Sitovo ze guzu hindi mkajwa. Nisikati setu. Sibiga kuhu. Iko mzotela manjimba. Iko sushi na hika menda makosi. Awazu na dali ni hindi. Yom holu wa mda abwe sifunda zui. Abe namazwi, abe zoba mata, tukoto ase zoba mabili, amazwi ngozi. Kwa siya sezo. Bapati Bosheiro, itachi lele chumba mingelele, abapati Bosheiro bonge, kuba bili, abe fundis, abe kona, paka chuo chu, gibonga kuhu chumba, abang nigalo na lochingi chuli samaz afela inzi, yaba hulu bamba tabo. Na mwako isani kune niga mchani ya kulo lusugo lukuluga angaga. Geku ulicho nipo. Kibingelela kakulu mungame luwezo la giti. Enigizi maafrika. Ubaba umadame na siru ni ramaposa. Uteputi president. Wetu titi mabuza. Na wako former president betu mzizi. Kainu ngamalana. Kaya nchi malonge lomo noche kaya na ba pata bemi yangu abulume ni shuma shuge nuzo longe 
siyajabula kulu munga medi kuba sibe ganye na awe na mshanji kule ndi umezu liyo mkimbo kocha ibo nyama yesi zwe sagiti yeku lito ni pofuti ndo uzi choba kikule uwe singa aye ibo nyama yetu umisusu luka zulitini ilu la mitika ndama ilu la makrabo mge zikake npezu mwele nyone ezi nye skoba zila panzi bengele la kuli ilu kuli yetu Yesilo ugama yisele Ifisa funo keche gile Nangi nkuli nyo ni pupingele la onju nkulu Bonga bakonu nju nkulu kwa beni Onju nkulu abango mama besilo Onju nkulu bonga bakona Nabandwa na bonga basi nju nkulu Sia chokozo ba nani bonda besi Chakudu nusuko nkulu kanga aga Emlandwe nyo sizwe sagiti Angbigelelu ndulu nkulu we sizwe samazulu Mdoana, bawa pinda ngene, inko sisi zo sababu chelez, epindebo, undu nanguulu, we sisi zo sababu zulu, wisu sisi skulu kiti shenge, uti bega ni na we na mshanje, siabo mimi msebe nzemkulu, osu sisi leona, sisi zo song, siabo honga, kakuulu shenge, uti sisi figa la panje, msebe nziyako. Soka lisa, shenge. Ibingelele futi ngekuli ndio gozo hunde na kule sifuti na sagiti umama. Uno musati uobe, ngobe. Ondu na kulu ube sifunda zo zonke, ez nyezi kona, ez wen lagiti. Kaya naba pati, ongo ngoshe, bonke, naba kona, be ifunda zo. Kaya naba pati be mnyango, ye ifunda zo zonke. Gokete gile ngechata nilichuwa futi kubingelela Isilo sase swatini Esungu malumewe silo sechu Siti uwena wengdene Silo skulu Sia kulega Wena ganda Sikulega kulu Ezilwe nzongi ngo nyama ikona Ezi sifakashele Osu gila na mshanje Sikulega kustalo Na makosi gazo longi Ozi talo na makosi wezi fundawza na makosi Oke lika mtaniya Izi ndi una abatitie Amabucho Izi jombi ze sisu O mama besi piti piti Sipoka ya kulu Bakwe chungo uchitu sina nisela Mtu mbuwe chungo shika ngaga Sia bangwa kulu mbukufia kwenu Chokoza kakulu Sipingelele futi Labo umeya Bonga bako na paka chivu echu Na bapa chivu masipala na makanza ya Kibuye ni bingeleleke Kisa mbele zi echu Kulo mtu imbezi kume mazu inanga peshe ya wezi duwani Na se mazu inashuga shige nizu enigazi la se Afrika Ezi fundazo inezi shuga ya nega ina se zikalwe ni za gule liga punga no makewe Bingelele na gula baba ngeku la penku njeni Ababugele na balalele ezi ndaweni Abaguzo Na mshanji jowa ngimi lapa pambili Nchukia hindi ya bakulubo mdama na makoi sana Kule sisifundazo Ino kuchokoza ukulu kuba ima enyo kukopea kumlani Jowa na mshanji umtu imbofana na lona Sekine sikade siti Wati na uguti uku enzege Kale susatu mfisa kukaro kuliso kubonga Umdali uguta silondo loza na pezu wende na yende Nese ihanjiwe na uguti enzi lulusukulubi impumele Jawa song kesi lapa, kani futi ni fiso kwa mimi zula ni zaki tisa zandu lela kwenye ngapesha ya, wosi lusela isitela usaku kwa mimi kesi tinga isipilwe ni zetu, kumini ni manda wong, ya kolo futi silo sifu zilingo ni amu pesha ni pume skwe, uzuri tinga pe uzuri ya chabu lo la pe kona, uma isizwe, so baba mkuluba kesi tanga ni kumini ba zuzo bungaza. Upewa mkuse mchechenu kwe silo sama banda onke Injulamiti Angisho futi kutisi julisa ukubonga ukulu Wili mkuli agiti kwa uti bumbani Futi esege isilo setu kumusebenzi Estuwe soe wana Okola isizwe sinu mlande omute Estuwe nishwayo Nesikulu gazi Eswe ni gazi la giti la se Afrika Siafisa ukutu njumkulu Ikubege ibambisane nonga ngezu lake Emi sebenzi nomu shalene 
Siabonga, Iko sum telebi bo stado. Se fi su kubera no telo lech. Ol hamba alga na telebi yon. Umshoni shwa uba pele uche anga salba langa inani. Labo deputy minister abakona pagati wech. Ba u twenty four. Ba pume gobningi silo. Pagati wachi na gaza sim agnoleche. Ujungulu na maisela silo Asipisi ukitawu na mesifike ujungulu Ujungulu We silo Sasa suatini Eka ukutusha mama haike Kaja suwa alanga Eka tisikona o former president O former president Tabo mpegi wikle ni umklim O former president Jacob Zuma wikle ni umklim Sikubega na mstebe Ujungulu siswe Se fiso muti, se kulere on a congratulatory message a kamoga from His Majesty the King of Swaziland West Tat. Se atrelo muti se snige se isi. Baya se gabaga kwa nuko tu nzwa njani kumaksumu mage se basa kona se fiso muti se snige se isi lo se zowa se muti ba inkwenye estetela inkulumo.
Tilo, Tagazo, and Sizzle, that's all it is. Home from Golo, Tagazo, Ingos, Ingos, Kati, Home from Golo, Bonga, Bantma, Bengos, Tagazo, Bondaba. Your Excellency, President Namaposa, President of the Republic of yeah, South Africa, Deputy President Umdana Kapindangene, Minister or Minister Labakona, Amaposa Labakona, Dimenua leti balvegile na nonge baga zulu na nonge begune ne sinfusela akulu bosu si chabla akulu bonda bago futsi si lam katsi sinwe ulela ngaleli silele kulu. Lem Lando, Len and Colos Labay and Dibeno, Babo Fagas, Nam Sabo, Sibu Bego, and Bossi Ibego Raja. See to me, Sago, would see Lenda Selifigi, Nazi Sia Chabula, Sibaganguane, where would see Sibela, M. Catis in Reno, Nagoto Bego in Hopes. Ingosi, I beg what all Miara let it be one as Cassis and Catisini. Lobo Shoguzi, who beg what Labako Nagulum Sebendi Abat Utsi in Wosi, Ibe Wanjani, Namu Shasabatolum Land, Lomu Shalom Gulu, Lesabau Tegelan, a Tituluan, and a Tituluan, and where would see in Wosi, Jomasi, Lasong, a story beggar, Ibe Wanjani, in Wosi Agasu. See to me, Sage. Lila ngale lishele nje ngale lingoba Siati bo makeba Wekuzi nisuga esimende silku ni njoba Ingosi sweltini Na yomtu ngulu Lopu ya legi tsikangwane Lungumlangeni Langena angunina wengosi Masilo sakazulu lesisbega kuna mungla Ozi teno ma se kupona sa wogozi na wonja lo wabashe shibu babili baba se ba ya hamba mshabe ke pare mulungu lulunga shuru luto na kuna mosha uton sula tinyembeti boma ke na ingosi na mosha se vile se ibegi we na gumse to look pelele. Siati Guti Kat and Nikali, the solo ni Lung Sele, the Lom Sebendi, Juban Kali, the Naibega, and Tungulu, Laibego Kona, the Sindu, Namu Sasela, Seto Mugelwa, a Nam Nesiva Song as a Mazulu, Namava Ong, Lapo, Nam Sabeni, Ala Pan, no song as it do, Babo Fagazi, Wokubewa Wongos. Ube wage wengo si uba si kala si kaba si kala si wagu si ku kala wagu bomo si pinsa wengi si bonge busu ngo wagu si noma ngabe bensel kuni ni na si ibegi wengo si kusho wagu si sopo na ui si we mazu.
Jomba ke ingosi yemazulu ibekiwe. Eh yani no yenu nonke nibakazulu. Eh nonke nifanele nathi ukuthi nibantwana bayo. Eh konke le ngikwendako nidakiyo. Ne noma ungakhandza wewe ukuthi kumbe ngoba ngalesinye isikhathi ukukhona le mibabu ngilo kwakuthi ukuqa. Na kusenga kabe kwenkosi kumbi na ati singa lifula lelo tfuba Mwaba pele mshabe nifele kushale kuba kona labo laba sheba mwone matfuba laba nga watata Ia kuluna kabe bakona matata ini laba tao sheba kupamparisha kuta hao wena Ubugwega ngono futi kuna lena lebe kwa hu Ufwana na kakulu kune yese Bese na wabese kwa kungena Logo so ufuna kwe kutika Vele kang sale na mengi mbo na uti ya tata Na mungusha leso skaba leso speli ili Joba kai se speli ili Se sisho kwa uti ngosi Na ingosi misu zulu Kaswa liti ni Si veso onge logo slapa Si tone tulela ye na kwa uti sale nati maket bo maket Nanti si buaya gangguan, si bu malu me, wasusilo, si togotak bona, si teti amas kuelegan je, jangan lalu so bonjumba ni kuele, butoh bakona kalau musabendi ngoba, umusabendi longaga, dengan bal kilo gugur gusi teti amas ngah kuali, abona kalau gugur gusi teti amas kuali, jumba kuele bona so gugur gusi tobe wain gosi si beli, eh bomake. Au bumake ba Si achabula ngoba Nati kuta Kwe tula pakutopi ni sabutobu Na bubakasulu Bukos bakasulu Nebakangwane Nesive songe Se South Africa Jenjo mba nembala Na sifuyele milanveni Emakosi kangwane Nemakosi akasulu Bega vakashela ana Usuela ne mufa Joba na ufa umlandu Uyatega wawuti Kusopusa wekala Afakashena Shaka ngalapa Shaka zulu Kasenza ngakona Bafuafiga Bafuselana Weabaye mhosi Lea kukuye la mufa Swati mbaba ya fuana na shaka Logo ke kwa bako Ushe logo Nila pukwa kuna alisa kuna kuti Bukwa sipaka nguwane ni baka sulu Nibusho kufele buti nile kaka kuru Lena na mufla nje njomba na ku Sibubo na solo kuya kubega Na me nga kubula na mbewa Nga 86 Silo sema zulu Besi kuhona Kwa kuna alisa kuna kuti Au site nembala Sito singasa baka nguwane Kwa bona sa wabusi ke au Nemba na sa busi sa lo msebendi Jenjoba na naso Si ya buka wabusi ke au Nami jenjoba Si si shie mine Nami si nda wuta ng lo busi sa lo msebendi Jenjoba si kona la pa Bomo konta Boma ke ba Ute ke wabusi ke ngo si Jenjoba na isa ibusi siwe Live do si ve songe se mazulu si sege si be se mfagwa yo upambisa na logo se we go tingo si na isebenda isebendi otu ana isebenda na hulmende una hulmende lo national kube na hulmende ku provincial choba la pagwa zulu na talo kuna kuna premier nemba la si bongi le si tumisi le. Ni malu ngusele lo landiwe Ayabu na kele kuse kuse Ases kabe ni lesfanele Ingo osi ne mbala Logo se akutumisa bakulu kukubona uwe kuse Labali webenda la malu ngusele lo Bende malu ngusele lo longi uwo Ebe gune Ebe gune ne Boma keba Bonda haba Ingo osi Ibewa kusugwa Bukovit 
Nembona so go go tsi go pele sive. I COVID ge ibe ne ma problems la ma yendi. Moba ileti social problem. Eh ya let's go tupega wa. Le go afabandu la pana la pa. Eh go kanya go go tsi no ma se pele no ma se sit be se siti ba no ni COVID. Sa pende sa bona la pa go le richi ne ya go zulu na tali go ba ne ma flats. Wa destroy them our properties. Wa ni malabantu wa bajiana. Dogo shogo si mwosi. Si lo se mazulu. Si figanje. Si kanza. Ingulu. Insaye la lebuna so ugu zige. Na yo iba mbisene na hulmende. Kwe ya ushalu wa pansi kubanji swane. Kubugwe uwe ugu zi. Tonge le tingi inga. Leti tinga solfa titi weni. Bumake Kepange lugo kutle Ngo kutsi ingosi Aisebendi yotwana Ingosi sebenda Numa silo asisebendi siso Tuana Silo sisebenda nelibanda Sisebende na hulmende Kuzi wonge wonge Umsebendi Uto hambagase Sesi tige au Joba ninkanga lugo ninkaga Si afisa bonge kuhambe kase kumakeba e, Bontaba Nelive longe ni chabule Kukunase wakuti netingi nganalo wanalo kwa Luku kona nchumba na ingo sise kona Nala ngasel pumile kasulu Kusho kona wakuti lile thalthemba Neliku sasa Nenfokoto Nekwatu wakuti bonge ya wahambe kase Nanti ke situ puma keba, situ kotile, kuba semkati sinu eno, kule langa dana mula, sifisa, kwa kusi jobe ngosi, sayi tata stalo, esim kaga sebu kosi, ngulu ngulu, na maloti, aisi ngati, aihate, wende lugu kutu msebendu ebu kosi, ihambe kase, ngao, siyabonga, ngulu ngulu, asipu sesonge, Bukan tak apa, begini. No, we bukan yang suka dengan sangat dapat kemas oleh semua. Orang yang sangat penting dalam sangat dapat ada memang kos terbesar dalam tiga juta lebih. Besar lah muka nak buat cuma tiga ratus. Abi lo cuma bukan apa. Anu bukan bukan dah untuk dapat pendek orang dalam si fakar orang orang sama tu lo. Nai bisnes kalau tak cinta cuma pegulah punya fikir. Mamba na watu mtu atanga na kusa Anjuk na pwa mkoba ya nga kuchembe pwa kato kusa Wimbu kwe usabe kwa msaganda ba uti macho ne sinyati Ingo ste tuta yko ba echa lima na ima kwa yko ba etive Uya mama wako zisa wanda ba Ya busa kube sa Afrika busa ngo si ya mako stifu na kukwe Uno wa pagati Aye che Uy ay fubela Uy ay fubela Shono Utu sempi Usigi sabu Sia wonga na kumulu Si zoni geza Ungongo shenga zueloke O mafungwa Sa wase pulwa O aswaibu skunda Si soka zuni natali Utokotela ukosasa na shamini suma Ozo senzela masi Abe sese tulela umungameli weswe Safisa Ibu utolo tijeme tete kso wakate Umasekzo ngeli silo usugulalo na mtaji mutu Sio litete la liki elikepuse Kweli kamtani
Lelele kwa pati woshe lo mo Pobabili Ibinge lele Wisilo sama band Nko sumi sizu Lugazu eltini Ipinde ngbinge lele Nko nyama ya maswati Uking swati wa statu Ebese Ibinge lele kumunga meji Welizwe O President, Madamela Ramapos, no deputy wake, o David Mabuza, Besen Bingelela, o Archbishop, o Anglican, your Grace Tabo, Cecil Makoba, and the clergy. Ibingelele, unduna kulu wagazulu, unduna wagapindengene, Ibingelele, O Mongameli, E Gikale, O Mongamelu Tabum Pegi, Gange, No Mongameli, O Jacob Zuma, Besen Bingelela, O Mongameli, O General Ian Kama was Septuana, O I O Mongamelu was Septuana. Gibingelele unduna kulu wetu walai provincini umamu no musa tube tube siakalu ba no mungamelu esvaza no nduna kulu esvaza siambingelele ebesa siambingelele o minist aba pati swabonga ba kona nos na masegela au no nduna kulubonga bapu magu ifunda nge ifunda Sibingelela base palamende Zinju zombili Sibingelele na bama palamende oonge la esifunda Sibingelele indu ya makosi Ya gane shinali Eholwa umama E mshaule Sibingelele ubabu shinga inkosi Epete inzi ya makosi ya la esifundeni Na bobonke abahola izinju za makosi Eguzwe longe Sibingelele o MEC bonka bakona Sibingelele o meya Sibingelele makanzela Sibingelele ama judge bonka kona Sibingelele bonka bakona Nsezu babiza bonke ngo biskati sambile Bese geng bingelela Ama guto wonka kona O mama bese piti piti Na base swazini Ne intombi mbalze sizwe Oba pela Sizo bungaza Usungaye Kosietu Umisuzu Today the sun The moon And the stars are aligned In favor of Africa, South Africa, and the great Zulu people in particular. We mark this glorious day in recognition of His Majesty, and the President is going to hand over the certificate of recognition. Sia bonga kakulu, sia stenya na msanji. Yes, born and just on the spot, the life stadium. Goba se al Kenya, usu go luingo pamla ndo lolo, sizo wa mugela, inko siye to emva goguti kateskali le, esi hanjelwe, e inko siye tumjo gomba ne goto namshange, si achabula se neme se sasile, si abonga kaku. As he has ten and Jenga Massigo eight, Moby Seasway, as now one and Dela Massigo as well, Alna so it's us as now Uxinza. So she has ten and go booty, a Massigo, see our landela, a Maku Kunamafa eight, see our landela, song. She has ten and a cool and a logo, which is their bong, which is no soup. Lufige Na mazulu wa jabulile Sibonili zolo belina Na mshanje mbalele 
ya kumbi suguti, o koko betu, bacha blile, baya kwa mugela eskwenza ayo na mshanji. I guess if nanja gutige, ngoba angzu kulu minte ningi mina. Eskumbu lenje, uking zueliti nga peguzulu. Owati evula inji ya se parlamente ya gazulu. Wati, izo mkapu nanges ngisi, ngoba wai kulu manges ngisi. Democracy is in danger. If MECs and the public servants are lazy, forgetting that on the other hand, the vulnerable members of our communities, such as pensioners, are suffering from hunger. And he went on to quote the then president and said, for as long as there are South Africans who die from preventable diseases, for as long as there are workers who struggle to feed their families and who battle to find work, for as long as there are communities without clean water, decent shelter, or proper sanitation, for as long as there is rural dwellers unable to make a decent living from the land on which they live, for as long as there are women who are subjected to discrimination, exploitation, or abuse for as long as there are children who do not have the means nor the opportunity to receive decent education. We shall not rest and we, do not, we dare not falter in our drive to eradicate poverty. Nanges Kati is a lot of fungus. A Benkol by Kulumi Lenda by Uguti Ufanel Gutaband Abavana Repul Babeg Songeges Yatem Uguti a silo say to Sizo by a singe Sezilo as a developmental as is or implementer. I rural master plan, si ya bonga. Bese ge genza umsebenzi, wogu sugu misa umonga meli. Wase South Africa, umonga meli ubaba, usiril, matamela ramapos. Si ya mazi sonke anzu, kuluma ga kulu nga engoba. Si ya mazi sonke, Sonke slanje, haba ningi betu, ba menyo uye na uguti. Bade kona, bazo shanga nyela nendu nkuu. Uguti size glo mtimbi. Uguwa muge la isilo setu, uguwa snigeza futi, uguwa kusemte tueni, istifige tisake. President, the podium is yours. Thank you. Okay, Stella, this is Dog and Shale Pad. Thank you. Gabonga, Minister Tamini Zuma. When I went to. When I went to. Payete. Program Directors. Your Majesty King Mrs. Zulu, Kazuel Tini, Your Majesty King Swati III, Your Majesty's Kings and Queens, from here in South Africa and a number of other places on our continent. Deputy President David Zabete Mabuza, 
Former President Thabo Mbeki, Former President Jacob Gadeitegi Sazuma, Former President of Botswana, President Ian Kama, Former Deputy President. Pumzile Ngukamlambo Zonke Ingo Nyama Ezi Hambelelo Mtim Abantuana Bendungkulu Gazulu Ingosi Uptelezi The Prime Minister of the Zulu Kingdom now, Onke Amakosi Akona, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Umama Unosiviwe Mapisa Nakula, heads of our Chapter 9 institutions who are here, as stated, the Cultural, Religious, and Linguistic Rights Commission, the pop, pop, Acting Public Protector. Auditor General, Premiers of our provinces represented here, and as we heard, Premier of Gauteng, Panyaza Lisufi is here, MECs of our government here, Bonke Abapati Swabaga Hulumen, Untunkulu, Wesifundazwe, Salapa, KZN, Umama, Unomusa, Dube, Nube, Chairperson of the Council of Provinces, Babu Amos Masondo, Acting Judge President of KwaZulu Natal, Justice Isaac Madondo, and other members of the judiciary who are here, Archbishop of Cape Town, the Most Reverend Dr. Tabo Mahoba, Abba Holy Bezengkolo, members of Parliament and our provincial legislatures who are here, Chairperson of the Traditional Leaders, the Council of Traditional Leaders, Umama Um Tauli, as well as chairpersons of provincial heads of traditional and Khoisan leaders, the president of Contralesa, Koshi Matupa Mkwena, and other leaders of Contralesa, leaders of the governing party in KwaZulu Natal the African National Congress, Abaholwa Usbonise Otuma, and of course leaders of other political parties who are here, and leaders of non-governmental organizations, the mayor of Eteguini, Babum Kolisi Kaunda, members of the diplomatic corps, business leaders, our artists, performers, and entertainers who are part of today's program, and all foreign dignitaries present. This is the song of Siga Zulu, Nabobonke Abantu, Kazel, Abantu Base Africa, Induna na mabuto, no mama abes piti piti, nani nonke enbugele emakaya, na labo abamamele kuma radio. Guests and fellow South Africans, ngibingelela abantu balapha kwa zulu, ni nabantu besilo. Sizwe sika punga no makeba. Sizwe sika ndama.
Mangi nibuga nonke Nibuga abantu abahle Abantu abatoge Kahle kakulu And ya chabula I'm filled with joy That we as South Africans are able to display our culture and our traditions. So I congratulate you for the way that you look. We in Togozo, in Kulu Kakulu, Gimina, Gubalapa, Namsanje, Namsanje, Usugu, Renja Bulo, Usugu, Logutula, Usugu, Logubumbana. Sihlanga nenda wonye Sikumbula uguti singoba nina Namtlanje wonke amakosi Amakosi amakulu Amakosi amazulu Na woba na atilapa Basi, basi pegile nbaya sibusisa Gisho onke amakosi gazulu O senza nga kona Ilembe Leka amanya amalembe Ngogu kalipa O tingani O techwayo O tinuzulu Your majesty Bonke o kokobako Namtlanje They are here And they are looking at this ceremony with a great deal of pride. As we reflect on this historic moment, and let me say, this historic moment only comes once in a lifetime. Many of us will never see this historic moment ever again. This is a historic moment for Amazon for KwaZulu Natal, for our country, and indeed for our continent. We recall the words from the epic poem, Emperor Shaka the Great, by Umasizi Kunen, when he said, only through our knowledge of our great past can we acquire courage and wisdom. Over many centuries, this brave Zulu nation stood firm against foreign invaders to protect our people and to protect our country. Here in KwaZulu Natal, on the plains of Isandlwana, 143 years ago, Amazulu waged an epic battle in defense of their land and in defense of their freedom. They waged a mighty battle against the British Empire and they defeated the British Empire, which was the very first time the British Empire was defeated in one of its colonies. And this was done here by the Zulu nation. It is a history of which the people of this province and our entire country and continent are truly proud. And today we are here to witness a new epoch in the history of Amazon. As the President of the Republic of South Africa, I am here to hand over the Certificate of Recognition to His Majesty, King Mrs. Zulu Kazueliti. That is what has brought me here. Apart, obviously, from coming to celebrate this moment with everyone. I do so to fulfill my duty under our Constitution, which affirms the role of our kings and our queens, 
I am here to commit my government to working with His Majesty to change the lives of our people and to transform our rural areas into places of development and prosperity. I do so to recognize that our traditional leaders are the true custodians of the cultures, the customs, and traditions that make us who we are as the people of this great country. Today is a great day indeed. It is also a blessed day. We pray that His Majesty's reign will be a long and glorious reign. Your Majesty, may your hand be guided by the Almighty. May your rule be one of justice, compassion, peace and unity. Your Majesty, your people look to you to lead them to a bright and glorious future. It is a heavy responsibility, but also an illustrious one. I borrow once more the words from the poem Emperor Shaka the Great. And it says, he, Emperor Shaga, would say, on my right is the nation, on my left, my clansmen. This is the bond that binds us together. Your Majesty, you are the bond that binds the Amazulu nation together. You are the latest in a long line of great kings that have seen many challenges across the centuries. And today we also face many difficulties as a nation. Onyaga Othule Silasegelwe Isilo Samabanda His Majesty King Goodwill Zuelitin, who led his people with dedication and integrity. We also lost the region queen, Manto Mitlamini Zulu, soon thereafter. Millions of our people continue to live in poverty and many are unemployed. Substance abuse, crime and the abuse of women and children and the elderly are devastating our communities. Many of our rural areas suffer from poor services and lack of jobs. Land reform remains a huge challenge to all of us, Your Majesty, as government, at local, provincial, and national level, we continue to make several interventions to address all these challenges and will want to rely on you to be able to work with you to address these problems that our people are facing on a daily basis. In you, Your Majesty, we have a leader who enjoys the respect and confidence of the people of KwaZulu-Natal and indeed beyond this province as well into other provinces a leader who takes responsibility for their decisions, a leader who is trusted by our people. 
a leader that governs with compassion and kindness, especially to the most vulnerable. Your Majesty, you have picked up the mighty spear that has fallen. May your steady hand guide and bring stability to the kingship of Amazon. I have no doubt that with the support of the royal family, you will lead the process to unite the community and all Abantuana Basendungu. Under your wise leadership, may the kingdom reach new heights of development, progress, and peace. Let me end by thanking everyone who was involved in making this once-in-a-lifetime auspicious occasion happen. I want to especially thank you, Your Majesty, for your patience, your wisdom, wisdom that you displayed as this ceremony was being planned. Prince Butelezi, your advice and steady manner of handling things with wisdom made a great contribution to enabling this ceremony, ceremony to happen. Minister Zamini Zuma and other ministers and deputy ministers, I'd like to thank you for the hard work that you put into making this day a success. Premier Dube Ngube, together with your colleagues in the province, you led the provincial planning and execution process with dedication and diligence. And I thank you for all for making this day such a successful day. Giabonga, Segu Fige Isikati, Soguti, Ginigese, Ingwati, Ingati, Esipiza, Woti, Certificate, Esiponiso, Soguti, Gambela, Esilo, Say, Tu, Uye, Esilo, Segazul, that our king is indeed officially the king of the Zulu nation and the only king of the Zulu nation. We will now take this opportunity as Minister Zamini Zuma, no premier way to hand me over the certificate so that I can hand it over to His Majesty the King. Where 
Sabonga, <laughs> Seso sugumisa ichachi umuhe Goba usugolje Luis Musi so kufanek sayi ndwe Pansi Babe kone ufaga Sikitanga nipendo ink Umuzule chabula Umasel pumi lilanga Siafisu kuti asondele umuhe Don't do nangulu Ok Baso senzela nje umti njana Akulume ngao O doctor NTZ no mungameli wa upeta sisi ya ufanalaiza goba itina eskonza nga pansi kwe silo so baso sheshi sela nji no mtu njana isi ya konda into so bese sibu isela umtu impi jomgane ozo wenziwa umuh Show no way to
traditional leadership and governance framework act is Kajana Sakona, is Kajana Se Shumi, is Nes Kumbisa, is Kajana Se Stan, Ogu Seven Section Seventeen Subsection Five, Walom Tetoga Act Five of Two Thousand and Five. Sizo Kalage Isilo, Noma Giza Sifundela Isilo Oguze. Singa binin king and ning. Bessa good to get Uma Sang Fundi Le Guluku Bessa Gaisilo Sia Sia King Segi Sa Bessem Boralokon is born a lage Bessa Sia Sain La Opalula Guti is King Segi so so part as Kunda so Mgonya Mangobukoto Langa Kinis. May not miss Zulu, Snobile Zulu, Yakinsegi is a footing at ten base of Guti, Gizogue Tembega, we republic as a South Africa, Nagus Fundal, Sawazuna Tali, footing at Bopezela, Pampi Gababong, Lava Bandu, Ababutinela Puguti, Gizopata Stalos of Mgonyama, Yamazulu, Gestunzi, Esfana Leo. Gentoni po gobukoto nanga sizota. Gizotoni po gitobele umteto sagelo. Kanye na yong imteto yezu la sinning zim Africa. Gizoguba ingonyama ene kriniso. Netembegile gingataluli. Ngogu kondile. Nogunga kondile no mangenzala tease. Nano ma ip into no ma indaba engi patiswa yo nango win fish. Gizogwen zablung e swagbobon kaban tungu fana footing is nigga leg win talagasi um pagatuonke. Gizogwen zaim seven zima and stalo sam sub gwenyama gobukoto gogatembega nanga wonka manza army diakun segi sanga kogonke luku. A single shilo Gizotella is a lo si so about the best, but what is six shilo look? Nina Vesilo, Nyakon Segisa, Nakogon Keloku. I said, I'm born ready. Ya <laughs> <laughs>
bayeke shangalo mshabati weno mnyama kutangitishe afese ga mapupo koni ndo teyagi ati I'm dreaming wake me up what a nice dream kumbula lao mazwe baba mangameli sifika eskatini lapo Duna nguluka zulu kwano kwa pinda ngene umsebenzi wakho oswa wenza imnyake ngaphezu kwanga mashuma isikhombisa esiqonda kahle ukuthi uNkulunkulu wazalwa wabekelwa wona umsebenzi nanamhlanje mageba sondela lapha kuphodiam wenza umsebenzi wakho ukubube namazwi bese wethula isilo samabandla Sikulume ngo kala nga Enva kwa kutoli stifiketi kumengameli Nwa kufungi iswa hii chaachi Agukesi nga besa kufuna Nga besa ita Wena kama mga osu terabula lwe asisi Lukoti mbo kote nesegelo Usilo na nkuzimbi na nyenge enzo osu Tenye wana punga nomba Umkwazi kati nwazi nga peli Iskone sinezi nga Nga besa ita makeba ولو <laughs> Their Majesties, various kings from outside the Republic and the kings that are recognized in the Republic and queens of various nations who have joined us to witness this great moment. Members of the Zulu royal family, members of the Swazi royal family, members of all other royal families. Honorable Minister of Cooperation and Traditional Affairs, Dr. Nkosazana Lamin Zoma. The Honorable Ms. Namusa Dubengube, our Premier of the Province of Kwazulu Natal. The Most Reverend his Grace, Dr. Tabo Mahoba, the Archbishop of Cape Town, and the Metropolitan of the Church of the Province of South Africa, Dr. Kosinati Zuma, Zu, Ndoandwe, the, the Bishop of this diocese, and Bishop Begin to go. No longer the bishop of the Zulu diocese. All the leaders of churches, bishops and president, that are present. Our members of the diplomatic corps and our international guests in particular. I would like to honour our former president. Especially my my president, Dr. Tabumbeg, Lamin, and also my president, Mr. Jacob Zuma, Namalal, and the deputy, former deputy president, Pumzile, Your Excellency Pumzile. Lambo Nuga, all our former ministers, all the deputy ministers and ministers present, members of the diplomatic corps and our international guests in particular, our guests from the Royal Welsh Regiment, the chap 
the, the deputy, the air king, uh, judge president of the of this province, who has just actually finalised this work. The chairperson, that is Mr. the Honourable Mr. Jerome Nguanya, and and members of the Ngoyama Transport, the chairperson of the House of Traditional Leaders in the Republic, all the chairpersons of traditional houses, the chairpersons of, 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 uh, of Contralesa, Nikos Mukwena, the chairperson and members of His Majesty's Committee who arranged today's event in collaboration with our government. Members of the Zulu Nation and all our di dis distinguished guests. As a long time, we have been in the world Parliament <laughs> The Lama Kosi and Kurumangao. Now is a shallow in the Layake as a Kaleene, Mlanwak. But when the Gallo Shangalese, who's all coming so humble as he said to you, Gamma's own is easy, Sabin. Umko Kabalu Sugu, less than a Mazul, was in Kumbule Luham. Nakoko Kala. Scumbulum Sumulu Sid Sagati, in course of Shahas and the Corner, or get a school in eighteen sixteen. A bush and walk him Yare Shumnambili, you see the Shahas Abum by Zizu, a Shahas the Devs of Mbuni, as I think I see Meme, Zima Kosikos, Zonk. What you listen, Mkamo, West Gompi, or Kedoksala Ukoi, Umfarukos Tingane. Kasanzangakona <laughs> Kutaza in all the good sana, what can be sir? He is the son of Harkoma Puna Mangis, not a water listeners of tool. No more water, Nelega Guezu, then Gonyama, Yoma Puna in a Mangis. Nam Changan, you, but I won't be sure of the lizard. She says with thirteen per cent, whereas you let who eighty seven, a seven per cent are workers and in Zed. In course of the job and bandy, Yakot on eighty seven two. Who cock on me on my regular? What could sing other than Cosum bandy? What a twin. Who mark and cost the joy and beggars condemned so long to the good. A woman's of a monkey dear on my boat to Uncle Silo, Nempia Mangis no zoo, eighty seven seventy nine. Umlando, Sangalazo, Sangalazo in Cosia. Yamasad Namakos Onke Nazogi Hamen Ukumula Umba won't go in Gaba Eshim and Gamelwet Lapa Uguti Umba won't go straight to I San John Ugosula Waka Pinina Banga Shoduto. But a while that is season, Salopis, Chon Shunjan Ubabam Kuru Salomaton, Umkandumba, Wasa Bana and MBS San John. Nash on form of Dinga, Mdimanga, and Yaman, was a little good. In the Alifa, Yankos, the Jayo, 
ngonya mutinzulu enkhokho wesilo le engibaba mkhulu mina nomntwana no opetu sel watching sel screen sasa sendelina emba goba usuthu ngobe umandlakazi empini yakwandunu ekubeni kwakhe sendelina ngo 879 inkosi dinzilu waboshwa ngimbuso mangisi ngobe inkosi ubhambatha zondi wacelwa wathatha umkakhe umazu umazu uma msholoze ushiyekile nendithakazi yakhe ukholekile waba fihle esigodleni osuthu ngeleso zathi silu dinzulu wala sayicala lokuvukela umbuso emgungu Jovani odingisela emshuzi emidlberg entilesifane lapha aza khothamela khona entabeni ngo october 1913 wala ndela inkosi Solomon ke kadinzulu ongisho mkhulu womntwana lo Petru Uhlelo inkaishana kabe yezephu zimla zangamehla awayizalelwe esiqhingini sasesendeleni ngeshwa isilu Solomon sathi lo mhlabeni mhlaka 4 ku March 1933 sise ibhungu nje sisahlangana samashumi amane ngokuphela eminyaka emva kwakhe kwalandela umnawa wakhe omelamayo umntwana umshini kadinzulu waba ibamba ukhosi isilo usiphrel bekuzulu nyanga ezizwe kaSolomon wange nesalwe ngonyaka ka 1948 njengo yise waqala wabekwa ngothwa inkosi yesosuthu ngothwa ushifu wesosuthu uHulman wabuya muva ngumu kumnika isikhulu sokuba uparama umshifu wamazulu Kepa tina njenge sizo tina mazulu zulu asange sikunake ndofuthu ukuphara ma ushifu sazi ukuthi ngonyama ngaba nentoni iphe yokusebenza ngaphansi komzawo wami isilo usiphriyan bekuzi unyanga zizwe ngesikhathi epikisana nobandlululo elondoneza masiko abantu bakithi nyajabula uthi ndovukazi umazungu ukhona lapha ongupela ko umfelokazi wesilo unyanga zizwe ophilayo oke nendovukazi elesizwe yathokoza mka nkosi ukuthi sinawe umfakazi wami ngasebenza iminyaka eyishumi nane njengondlona enkulu wakhe nesizwe isikhunja angibeka kusho yena ngo 1954 ngenkathi kwembulwa itshe esesithi zinze nje inkosi ushaka kwadukuzi nami naye ubhusha inkosi unyanga izizwe ngo 1955 lapha umqambo wobandlululo udr fervud as as embizwen ehlangana nesilo namakhosi siyikhonga sonke kwathi mabethi ucelo fervud singa emhlanganweni akakhuluma naye ngasukuma ngathi emakhosini inkosi yethu angazihambe yodwa amakhosi athelethu akazanga ambone yethu kwazo mbona sena athi sonke ngesikhathi silo Usiphren skota mo September 1868 Nang phetho onke amalungiselelo ukushala kwakhe Wayena mash nyaka nje ngamashumi amane lishiya kanombili He was only 48 years Ongda kwisayo ukuthi isilo lesethu si 48 years ngenyanga izulu Uthu washa esemncane kangayo ngonyama ubhusha ngonyama usiphrel indoda la yakho umntwana uzolithini kabhekuzulu wangena esihlalweni ngo December 1979 kwani sekuphela unyaka usungule umkhandlu okuthwa izulu territorial authority izulu territorial authority amabhunu ayefuna ukusephuqizwe ngothi so avumelene nathi anza athi mazulu ahlangana namaxhosa namaxhosa nabesuthu nabetswana namavenda othizizwe bahlakani ipha abantu lomthetho isimeli phemishi ngakho awuphoke sasa saba ngokugcina mina 
Empele mina ubuzen party zulu territory. Kwasho muholi wami. Inkosho almes mvumbu bithulu nomlumzana one bathama. But I'm going to pack out in Google and I'm going to pack out. You see, the good will result in it. But this cat is sitting here on camera course. I'm going to take this in my shoe, my son. Ule, I'm going to take this in my shoe. I'm going to take this in my shoe. I'm going to Nasak Songa is Zulu territorial authority, I mean Zulu government. Wabo Muku said, Yet you are. When Gonyama trust Namako Sombuso or Zulu, who was Gulao Rumsaba and Panzwake, Namako. The Honga was on April nine ninety four. Nasson Pega, Silo Samakosi, Nasson Pega Silo. Some sort, Makosonga corner and entry Ulu, Nabasonisha, Mamis and the Silo said to John Dunan Ulu, Nkora Nekas, young Nigolona, we said. Who saw song is cast of Pusa Wake, Nam Musa Mujoromban, Uba at Ogun Dunan Kuruak, and Oko Anga Gwenza. The good Makus of Majora and Matafin, which were. Tell us why bear as a bear, Mjobal. Is she the Why is she born in the sea? Pump was she. Walk with us, Ulema, the season. We just hear what an injal. What can I tell you? Send one pack out to us in Makai. What Holm Kangaso, what Goshis and the Sifu Sangu does. Walk out eek or the one on Gom. What listen down the ending of Blue Miso, present Jalagas and Ukata Ruba. Was he following his daughter, Umjabana, Sang and Pedro, who said, I must see go a two Cabusha, or who said, I must see go M. Cosi. See the school, someone. A season, Gania, Gania, Gitan, Cosi, Manjo, the God. Was his own will, a man, I must say, I can't say, I the verse, in the verse, in my joke. A quarter of a seal, on 12 March 21. Was never this an apagati? Who's his Satu to do so, Fundo, go William Tanencos. Mobaya come because Sana, then Talifa Silo, who could will Zeltini. Papa Guzu. Madame Susi Silo, Mrs. Russell, Wawang Goyama, Jim, and let card. Master Shonjal, a conjunct of Telez, a bell of Telez, a bell no, Sarah, seventeen who march twenty two in two Isido, Sashi Tilelo, Moksam Tetan is condensed over in Guanyama, the seas of Mazu, Mumangamed with Caesar, Sassanis in Africa, Musonisha, a part of the traditional and coercion leadership act. Look what does this condes a silo, Umisuzu, Obevele, why Venice has a stallion? Exhorn a quarterman of Babam Kuru goes to Jinzu. Max is to Mrs. Figuero, one of Bamba. Was then Bosse Bergo. Mobile, the writing Selehona. Why is the name Umtuana Yawan Tavi? 
kaqal kumkakhe ukaqethuka uyihlaziwe kumkakhe ubonga umjalo ose wayizele ingane yakobo Solomon eyashonayo yayi ingcenco umncenco ukube ukulo kuzo ukuthi ngemuva ukuthatha umuzi ukuthi ukukhisha ubufebe la enganeni ngomuzi wase kuba uko Solomon nomntwana umshini abazalo lawo lawo indina enkulu manqulumane wase cabanga ukuthi ngomdali unyaweni wase thi inkosi kwakhulu kwakhona lapho kodwa kodwa bayede kumntwana kumntwana kanti umalume wami ngonyama Solomon unencwadi eyibhalwe uba komkhulu dinzulu ebhanjini uma ekhifa lencwadi umntwana unyawana wathi isanga siyababa lesi ngakho ibongo zomntwana nje umalume wami unyawana inkosa babeke ebuseni ubu kwalo bango bakhifa ndambawo khona lapho kwakhulu bayede emva kokukhulu usho fundwe iwili yomntwana enkosi ngasho ku ngasho yime ngasho ukuthi akusekho kuye njengamanje isathi the king is dead don't leave the king that's it done i don't call him king because the thomas can be king because ukuxoxa kwesilo kwesilo ngusiko lokungena isifayeni kwenze ngomhlaka thonti kwagas esigodi ngokhangela amanqengane lapha inkulungwane zenkosi zabantu benkosi namakhosi nezulu babuthana uzofaka ukugcotha kwesilo lo umcimbo owawukhangela amanqengane unemkhulu wawumkhulu nawo umcimbo ngangayibona ngisho nangaphansi komzawo wami ngonyama yakwakhetha inkosi yangazizwe nangasikhatha kamthomba kazi baba ninga amazulu nje ayikisha be ayikisha ayikisha zabe ngakho namhlanje ke phambi kweinkumbi leze niyizo zulu umshoni ishume ngameli wethu usedlulisele isitifikedi nayibonela ngamehleni esekwenzekile nabona ujust president wesifunda sethu emsayinisi njengondona kulo esilo kumele ngimbonge kume ngameli ngoba uhamba olphetha ngalomzuzu belungelula niyazi ukuthi umangameli wedlule endawe endaweni elikhulu angazi ukuthi singabonga sithini kuwe mangameli wethu ngoba le ndaba wena qobo lakho uyiphathe ngobukhulu ngono today in the presence of this great crowd of witnesses our president has handed over the certificate of appointment as his majesty's prime minister i must thank the president for the path to this moment it was not easy we as the royal family ndlunkulu ndivukazi mazungu umntwana ufilimo ni bachele ndiye kadinzulu abantwana benkosi njengoba umntwana amloka dimi lapho umntwana umntwana misizi umisi umntwana uthulani i must thank them we as the royal family and as a nation appreciate the president's wisdom in how this matter of succession was handled president we are not going to come on us in me abakubu isele laba yekana uma ngishikunda mukemekeni usenzele elikhulu in many respects it has been a painful time since the passing of our late king we are grateful that his rightful heir and successor was identified and is now ascended to the throne this closes the fractions in the royal family and must unite us as one in support of our king the ninth king of the zulu nation is in our midst today we owe allegiance to our new king and throughout this painful time i felt the support of the zulu people i would like to thank you all mazulu ngendlela eningisekwe ngayo 
in supporting our king and for me as his prime minister. Please know that your support sustained us. It gave us the strength to keep fighting the good for the good of our nation and for the ascension of our king. Today's ceremony is not about the appointment just of one man. It is about a nation's appointment with destiny. May the reign of our ninth king be marked by hope and must be marked by unity. May it be, may it be time of healing and a time of growth and a time of thriving and a time of peace. As His Majesty begins his reign, we all wish him well. I speak on behalf of all these people that are here and the rest of the nation that we wish you well, Your Majesty. You alone, Your Majesty, will decide on the cause of your reign. As the poet William Ennis Handy wrote, I quote the poem, he said, I'm the master of my fate, I'm the captain of my soul, unquote. We are encouraged to see His Majesty walking in these few months in the footsteps of his father's values and traditions. His emphasis on food security, his fight against gender-based violence, his mentorship of young men, these are all deeply encouraging, Your Majesty. His father was never shy. His father was never shy to, to emphasize his dependence on God. And I pray as the arch his grave, the Archbishop of Cape Town, and the bishops prayed for Your Majesty that you will rely on and be laid by the Lord Himself. We know that each monarch leaves his own legacy. In generation to come, may His Majesty legacy be spoken of with gratitude. May His strength in the Zulu Kingdom and help to rebuild what has been broken through poverty, through hardship and unrest. May his leadership shine through the darkness, providing a light to guide us all. I'm humbled, humbled to present your majesty today as you address your people and, and the world for the first time. And I would like to repeat the welcome on your behalf to all the guests. For 68 years, I've served my king. I will continue to serve at his majesty's pleasure. Yet, I appeal to his father and I appeal to his majesty today to feel free to appoint his own prime minister. Ultimately, of peace for I know that well beyond my lifetime our journey will continue expressed through our monarch your majesty was me za savuma what we go your song ya meme so kanda what we go your song what we go your song
Nafsilo Nyatoza Ninga Salapanzi Mpatuwa Selo Mshonishwa ubaba Mutamela Ramaposa Mungameli Wezwe Lase South Africa Onga maezwe lake Ingwe nyama Eo malume Isilo sarangwane Mbosi umswati Westatu malume Mbingelele Omu ngameli Abatala Umsenishwa Ubaba Umbegi Ekona parati wetu Paramisa futi omunye Omu ngameli wetu Omdala Ubaba Uzuma, ukelese giza Zuma Mpaka mese futi Ubonga, ukulu, usegela munga meli na ye omdala Umama, umlambo nunga na ye okona paka chikwetu Mtogu zifuti kakulu ni nabesilo ukupakamisa Umama ukosazane zamini zuma Gikona lapo ngipakamise Ukulu futukbonga kumama Uprimia wetu Umama umatube mshonishwa Mparamise futi Umshonishwa ubaba utuma Ngoba nkulu manji Osugulini lana mshanji Guparamisa ubonga okulu Kubabonke la babantu engsabize ama kama abo manje Mparamise futi ukbonga okulu Mparamise ichachi ubaba umatondo We justice fraternity ekona Mparamise umpishupu wami Umkulu na ye U Archbishop Baba Umakhova Labeng Babiza yonjalo Ngoba nkulu mangabo ni nabesilo Abadzale indi manekaza Elkulu empilwe niyami Nekbambi sanini nesizwe Sonka naranye nami Ngoba ngendu lakbon na nje Aga nje na indu nkulu izo nkolela Nje nga mbase kaya Nizo kina nga ayo Ntogoze kakulu mparamise Ibanda Lama Nazareta Eli holwa unyazi lwezulu Mparamise Okulu futi ubonga Nwa mugela 
Ubaba Unungunga were twelve day apostles. Gise Kona Lapo Nkeluguba Mbonga Kulu M Yangweni Gakokta Nom Yang Wesem Velo. Ugutisi Hambena was as a figure who solaces his cutty Bessie Locosi Bamben Nina Bessie Lo Umde Niwaming Bongega Kolo Dunankolo Gazulu Dunaga Pindangene Oh, is this a girl or Sammy? No, do not go to Ami, no, do not go to Gazulo. Paramise Futi Ubonga Okolo Paramise Sandra Ulukolo Ukabini, no, do go to Mantombella Paramise Futi Ogunye Okolo Futi Ubonga. Buyo ilukulu kopo nwayo Engu mkulu bami Oba babami Abaza bami Mpagamise okulu nwesegega futi Mbonga abantwana abanga bafu itu engu zalwa ganyenabo Esende ni Ligam Jogombane Ota de way to Nabafoe to Abako Napara to way to Nam Sanji Mokparami Safuti, Ubong, Okolo Nisego Zukolo, Inzunkolo Mbongakolo Zukolo, Wokana, Wesilo Lungolo Mazamini Uba Kona Nawe Uam Sana Noawe no Unlungolo, Mandlo, Vundukolo, Agalindo Zulu Paramise Okolo, Lukolo Wasundi, Lukolo Ramafu. That is Sibambene, Lukulu, Sugelek Aleni, Sessis, a figure, Ulysses Carti, in Cosig in Bussi, Sebom Mamma Bami. Zorali is a footy, Ubong, Okolo, Emma Cosini, Ascent Lugolo, Isinduna, Emma Cancela, Zimea. Esite no masi hamba si ganye no mtu anongo pindangene Kusugela emkosini Welembe guya emkosini wasesandwane Zime ya ngubambisana na makanzela ne induna Ebeze nza iskunsego So guti yonki mkimbi yetu ihamba gathe ngendela na ngosigolu wakona Ngale kukupaza msega Nina Besilo Mbonga Kulu as in Tombini Zom Sanga Imbali is a Siswe. She has in Kenyan Anni, Nami Ning at Wanji, Niazi Kenyan Anni, Bantobami Niatogoza Nitis and Vala Ubonganji. Gokina Mbonga Kulu, Mabuto Gazulu, Mafela Salo, Mavigela Salo Uti Ben Lukun Hambanami, Uzewa figure this is Kati Nibunisa, Owin, Gela, No Tando, Nogum Begazelela, Pegwesimo, Obesicona, M. Denini, 
Nigwazilu Gutis Salo Nis Mele Nis Vigale Futinis Lueling Ayonk in Lela Nakoge Nyatoza Kulu Mabuto Gazulu Ninabisilo Mr. President Your Majesty King Um Swati of Swaziland Bantu Bagababa Nyan Bingele Lanonke The throne is a covenant between the departed and the living and those who are still yet to be born. On the shoulders of the crown head lies hopes, prayers of the living and more importantly those who are still yet to be born in our nation. Today I am addressing you and the world as the one who rests on the shoulders of hope for the future of the Zulu for their place under the sun and in the sun. I understand that history has chosen me at this time when the Zulu and other nations are facing several challenges. Among the challenges are poverty, unemployment, a trust deficit in government and traditional leadership structures, climate change disasters, economic meltdown, food insecurity, famine, disease, that do not only ravage our people but also our economies. Having mentioned all the above challenges, I also understand the hand of history has chosen me at this time when conditions are ripe for the forging of relationships among other nations and communities to face these challenges. Upon my entrance into the Kral on the 20th of August at Gokhangela Mangengane 2022, I promised to work for you. I uttered those words with confidence knowing that I have full support and that this journey, I walk not on alone, but I walk this journey with you and the rest of the world. It is my daily prayer that I be a catalyst and development of the Zulu, South Africa and the whole of United Africa. I believe that this will be possible if we work together in our time. I am well aware that our history is incomplete, that of the Isinguni and other nations of Africa, it is incomplete without the history of Indians, the English, the Africana, and all the other races in South Africa and Africa as a whole. La welcome Tania. In the past years, we have had the blessing of being led by a visionary king. With almost 50 years on the throne, King Kutwil Zuelitini Gapegozo Luisilo was both the longest and eldest monarch. During his reign, he ensured that the Zulu people and the monarchy is not only an institution for ceremonial occasions, but also an institution of value, contribution to the country's public service, social cohesion, cultural heritage, and 
economic imperativeness. His service underlined how tradition serves as a source of unity in a society as tangible proof of common values which bind communities together in our evolving times. My father upheld the timeless values upon which our province and the country are built on, which are tradition, respect, wisdom, and knowing each other's differences. Moving on, fate has decreed that I be king over the biggest nation in South Africa. This point, which question whether, how do we value our monarchy as the Zulus? In the time that God has favored me with, I commit using numerical strength of the Zulus to, to, below the, to develop the country and the economy and promoting peace, recon reconciliation, first amongst the Zulus and also among South Africans, Africans, and then we move on to the rest of the world. Since South Africa is a multicultural society, I shall ensure that the Zulu culture and heritage are protected within my framework of our country and in our constitution. Mr. President, I know the last few months have been a challenge also to yourself. But mine to you is keep soldiering on and keep moving forward with the Zulu people as you have done in the past with the late king, now with myself, Your Excellency. The Ingwenyama Trust, which I lead, spearheading development programs in rural communities this will not happen without the active participation of rural communities. I endorse the concept of Ingonyama Trust Rural Development Forum, an initiative started by the late monarch and support by the African Union and the Wazulu Natal government. The forum is comprised of an informal network of traditional leaders, experts, research institutions, businesses, policy makers, research institutions, businesses, so on and so forth. The uniqueness of this forum approach is found that its intention is to drive the process of rural de development through points of departure. First, that the traditional institutes in all different forms and levels should drive rural development. These are institutions that are integrated in the lives of rural residents, therefore better understood. My president, Moving forward, cooperative amongst UPKOSI, executive and legislature is of paramount importance as the head of the UPKOSI and monarch of the province. I commit myself to ensure that UPKOSI while autonomous collaborations with the executive and the legislature on the development 
and benefit of the people. I encourage my politicians to work diligently and honestly. You must be aware that you are the reflection on our democracy, which is tarnished when misbehaved as seen in the trust deficit on politicians of our government. Nina Bessilo, Ntokoza Kakulu, Loku Engu Kulume Namsanje, Nyazu Utibe Nkuluma, Ngulumi, Ngoli Milga Chochi, Old Daluguti, Ngobana Kusine, Vagashe, Puma Mazwenanga Panze, Bekpo Kuguti, Uchochi Nang, Mkulume. Who Kusuga pezu lukumtu wana wapenda ngeene. Na abu malume eswazini ngwenyama. Bas kulegele li sisalo. Bai kulegele li misibinzi eslangene ngayo na mshanji. Bonke ngoban babo na sisiz na abola. Agaeko ngasichuluge langa li sisikati esiguso na mshanji. Ogushuguti unkulu unkulu. Ne nyanya za wetu nani zulu mnyama bandu baga baba unkunukulu usbusi saka kulu ngaloku nyatoko saka kulu uti si hambesa sa figa kulu lusugu la namchanje unga bibiko luto olubi olpaza msayo na mukite kakwe kazi olwe nzegile ngaloko zulu mnyama Nyane tembisa uktula nobuholi Upsakan pile nobuholi Obuya pambi lingizo ibamba lapa Umdogombane eishie kona Malama azu nyantogoza ila nami nyantogoza ila futi Nyantogoza inko sinbusi isi Siyakele kutiba isonde zizipo Isilo Sifisa ujulisa isipo Ugokala Kumnumzane upetris putepe Ngekaza lake Alizalayo Ukusebe zisana Naba holy, bomb tabo. Eso kelo kote asonde lenga pambe ni emugele. Lekolo e kaza umnomzane. Petris Mutsepe and Jalayo Sizu in Samazulu, Nesizu as Onke Zing, of course. It didn't go your mind to Nayom Tuan.
isipo sesibili siqonda engonyameni umswati umlesa bube umhlaba bayethi Isipo sesibili siqonde kumangamelo wezwe umnomzane usiril matamela ramaphosa ngamele Isipo eskamuga Isipo esiqonde Isipo eskamuga kwisilo samabandla wonke esiqonde kumntwana wakwaphinda ngene ndabezitha ndabezitha umntwana wakwaphinda ngene isilo kuno sipho esikhulu makeba isilo esisiqondise kumntwana sitheke isilo angifunde lamazwi makeba Sithe isilo angifunde lamazwi ngenkathi simembesa umntwana. Esakho makeba. Esakho makeba. Sithi isilo samabandla. Sithi isilo samabandla ngenhlobeko ngenhlobeko phambi kwezinyandezulu zesihlalo nendlungulu yonke. Ngethula kumntwana okwaphinda ngene okuntu nankulu wazulu lesi sikhumbuzo ngithakasela inkonzo yakho makeba efana neyobundela uma ufuka wesekela umbuso kazulu iphelile eminyaka ngaphezu kwamashumi ayisikhombisa uyinkanyezi ekhomba ubuzulu ukuthi buyini futhi kufanele benzeni kanjani nini uze kuba isibuko naba kwezinye izizwe zibazise ukukhona abalobi ubukhosi ziphakamisa iflege nase Afrika makeba sithi silo siyathokoza ngemisebenzi yakho sibe ngayo seyibongela sona kanye namakhoso onke adlule esandleni sakho asangale siyabonga egameni lala umakhosi ndabezitha magebe isilo ke simgqokisa umntwana isikhumba sebhubesi mgqokise konyama Oga iskumba sebhubesi umntwana uyahlonishwa ngokumele ubukhosi besizwe sikazulu namhlanje na makeba Isilo futhi sifisa ukwethwesa umangameli wase South Africa umnomzani uRamaphosa imbatha imbatha lengwe nomqhele wakhona Simetwese nomqhele
Ustega kulu na msanjena Zulu ga malangela Ocholi sipo gawe ya kie Enga ati kati mfuro wa shamanzi Before <laughs> Usugule tu na mitanjen Si oso tanje stetele Mother of a queen Osebone intes mkule Si zwe ni saka zulu Si mbongi legi silo Kwa kusasega Nanga kwenzi msebe nzi ube ngono Unga besa usinde matom Si zong nigela gena Mazung Ito fugaz Yamaga ishi Shanga ba pepe zeli mwane Sina ba kutu fugaz Nya bengelela Munga meluwezwe Babu Ramapos Mpishopu wetu makhoba Nabafundi sa asebenza namu Mposu mswati 
nesizwe sake ijaju zondo twana waphinda ngene namakhosonke sizwe nawalapha nawangaphandle nduna nkulu wethu nomusa dube ngombe nohulumeni wonke wesifundazwe nondlu nkulu bonke besiluzwe lithini nabo bonke abantu isizwe sonke esikhona nyanibingelela ngakhohlwa malunga kahulumeni nasathatha umhlala phansi nyawabingelela Okwami ukubonga igama lokubonga nje igama elodwa nje kodwa lisho likhulu kumuntu olukhulumayo ngomusuke bonga into engaphakathi kwakhe ngibonga kakhulu kunibona ninga akazulu siyabonga nina bendlovu emva komsebenzi ongaka ebesiwenza singesodwa siphakamisi zandla zethu kumdali wethu ngoba sikholwa ukuthi uNkulunkulu osusa amakhosi amisa amakhosi ngokwecebo lakhe sibonga kakhulu kumntwana wakho waphinda ngene undu wa Nkulu kaZulu wenkosazana yenkosi yasosuthu ophikelele kanye nathi kwaze kwaba manje Saze safika kulolusu Mbonga kakhulu kumntwana wenkosi umntwana wakwafihla inqindi obekhuthele kanye nathi Mbonge kundlu nkulu untombela emsebenzini wonke obusetshenzwa Ilesi sizwe siyabonga kakhulu nabo hlanga Siyakholwa ukuthi isizwe sakwaZulu sibo sibo sibunjwe ilembe Size sifike amakhosi ohlanga nje size sifike kule nkosi futhi kusezo kuqhubeka kube njalo Siyabonga sizwe sikampande ukuthi niphelele ningaka nizoba ngofakazi Nizo wembathi inkosi yenu Nizo wembathi ngonyama yenu Niqhubeke nisekele Nisingathe Nikhonze Niyothe Ngibonga ke nawo wonke amakhosi avela kwezinye izizwe Bayede wena ohlanga lwamaswazi kanye nesizwe sonke ufike naso umntana enkosi sihlanganiswe lapha nawe ngothando uthando njangokhulu futhi lwaqala kudala lolu thando ebhube sinelidala isilu sobhusa nomntana enkosi nomdlokomvane babencela kulo lolu thando wena wesilu somhlaba Nelisake nalezinga nezami Ngithemba lokho ukuthi nalo mntana omntanami uzomncelisa wena ohla umkhusela umthwalo lo wengunika wona It's a duty Ngoba phela uthando lwamaswazi nalo kwaZulu lusamile namanje Nesizwe samaswazi siyabonga ukuba khona bakho wena waphakathi bayede wena ohlanga hlanga lomhlabathi napha abantu bakho ubanikwe u Jehova laba abantu Usmagatu mnige la babantu kuba upegiti ngo zaabo silo Ne nsizi zaabo Ubake Ubakoke Ubakondise Ungakiti Wena usha
uthathe esilweni umdlokombane wahlanganisa lesi sizwe wasithatha waziphakamisa wahlanganisa umndeni wonke kampande kodwa wayengakhohliwe umdlokombane ukuthi abantu baqaphela ukuthi umuntu nomuntu akwazi ukuzalwa kwakhe nendawo yakhe emndenini afa afanele athathe isikhundla esimfaneleyo umdlokombane usebenzile uvuselela amasoyiko enomntana enkosi wakwangwazi ubambisene nohulumeni eyintweni zonke uqinile ukholwa kwakhe kwazi wahamba emhlabeni Baba Mungameli Ramapos siyakuthanda mungameli wethu siyazi ukuthi akunamhlanje nje kuphela kodwa yahlanganyela nathi nasekumnandini nasemhlungwini ngakho ke siyabonga kakhulu umsebenzi osowenzile lapho siyabonga ngiyabonga kuso sonke sizwe egameni lendlunkulu yonke nakubantwana benkosi Njabo. announcement. Before us, the dead are not able to the Zulumyama, Kutiwa Ogiya Ugucha bagwa sotlo bacelile ukuthi ukuze bakhona isiphithi phithi basebetha sihlele ngaleyo ndlela sifisa ukubonga kakhulu ngokuba nenhlonipho nesotha emsebenzini wesizwe wesile esikhulu indlula amethi kandaba sifike ngasemaphethelweni omsebenzi wesizwe sibonga kakhulu umungameli ngokwenza lo mcimbi Nabo ngongo shabonke Oga tuba chumile Don tuna nkulu waga suni natali Ba upata ka tumsebezi Wazwa fia nga sekineni Sikaba ngutbe gusugo lute Sikona ke nesipo Ebe skonde nesilo Ngege sis anansi ngobisilo Sis acheso fisu kuti Sitete la mabu uto jenga manchi Agwa asikutaki ya kepuse Kubi chuba la uba nigeza ne roving mic Ugoze ikbona gale kieli silo sawo Wena wentofu Wena wentofu Alright, Zulu Gamalandela Zulu Gamalandela La Pumilanga Gwa Zulu Njoba Seli Oshona Nje We did see what is history Blaine, I mean a lot of people today Just you know, taking it all in, you, you, you could see as you walk past, as you, you, you greet people, as you ask them about this moment, they're taking it all in yeah. because this is a once in a lifetime. But uh, someone who witnessed it three times, Ushenge, mm. for him, yeah. this is one of those moments that he feels like his job is done. And you saw the emotion towards the end. Mm. Uh, it all came, I think, to fruition, realization. Uh, of what has just happened started mm -hmm. earlier on in the day with the anointing of the king's hands as well as head with holy oils that were done to kings of the past um, and then we heard the speeches coming through and wishing him well but then you get a sense and it's so palpable and I was just saying that being part of this and we always use this word historic momentous mm -hmm. but you truly understand it when you see the visuals and when you experience it firsthand, I'm I'm so privileged uh, to be sitting here with you, alongside with you, Bongiwe, witnessing these scenes. Yeah. It will stay 
in your memory forever. Definitely, and listening to Isilo saying that he is going to, he promises to lead the nation yeah. with respect, with humility, with wisdom, saying that for him, it's important that he picks up where his father left off. And one of those is, of course, to lead Amamoto, who are leading this particular segment of the program right now. Let's take a listen in. Oh, 
soñar. And of course, Samabuto there in Gubo, Yesilo. These are the protectors of the throne plane and uh, the, the king, of course, not even shying away from thanking them. Uh, saying that meaning that they were there even during the most trying times they stood they protected the throne and uh, you can only you know for them imagine what this means yeah. because it's not only about a silo it's yeah. also about them because they also feel a moment of pride right now Correct. he spoke about in his speech working for the people uh, he outlaid or, or highlighted the issues the challenges facing them poverty mentioning climate change mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. um, and saying there's hope for the future as well let's just see what this is all about oh. wow look at that a beautiful portrait indeed the president says there's only one king with regards to the amazon nation you're looking at him king misuzulu Srobile. And it's interesting to see if then th that statement blame yeah. will settle what we have seen. Yeah. Um, you know, as uh, some have called them the succession battles. If that statement alone and this moment today 
will in fact be enough to quell some of the tensions that we've seen uh, from the Amazon nation. And of course, you listen to how he is described. Meaning just who he is, his stature. And you think about also playing what um, you know he said during the red dance, saying that um, you know for him. And of course, you think about that time when he said his brothers, mm. his he's extending yeah. an olive branch towards them. And yeah. I, I wonder if they're going to heed that call mm. and mm. come back and see him as the older one yeah. in the family who's giving the family direction. It should be interesting to see what yeah. happens next. Many want the animus to be brought down and for harmony and unity. He also spoke about social cohesion among races as well uh, in South Africa. My brothers and sisters, that brings to an end our 10-hour broadcast here at the Moses How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, yeah. You can go for one more. I think we can. <laughs> we can still even go for five more. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure being with you and next to a consummate professional, the better mind. Both I feel you. the same. I feel the same. <laughs> thank you so thank much, Blaine. It's indeed. really been amazing. Gene Nonga Makaya, thank you so much for really Ugusingata and just being with us yeah. throughout this journey, witnessing history unfold. Thank you so much to you all and from us. Take care. Bye take bye. Care.